Hello. I know there was one person, then two, then three, then back to one. Hello. <laughs> we will wait a few minutes because I'm three minutes early. Woohoo. And I'm ready. Are you ready? Let's get this light up out of the way, maybe. There. I think we can do it without that light, maybe. And if we need it, we'll put it back on. Maybe we'll put it on low. There we go. <laughs> Hello. Welcome. Hi, Cherie. Or is it Sherry? Or is it something different? <laughs> How are you doing? Hi, Nick. You ready? Even though you've already seen the catalog? <laughs> this is not a haul video. Although, <laughs> if it ships tonight, I might have a package tomorrow. But probably Thursday, even though it's an overnight. Hi, Paige. I didn't expect to see you today. Welcome, welcome. So I'm just going to give it another minute or so and see if we get any more than three. <laughs> I would hope. Although I have, I know that Heather did her own this morning on Facebook and I saw that uh, Marcy, is it, or Mercy did one, like, I think even before it was officially the fourth on the west coast where she is um this b sucker b sucker she did one too so but i still want to do it anyway because it's a really pretty catalog thank you for the thumbs up it's a really pretty one at first i was like i'm not too sure uh they do not come spiral bound i had it done and i had to get mine done at the fedex print shop because our local staples said cutting the binding off would cut their I would break their cutter I'm like oh really <laughs> I didn't think that sounded right I just think they didn't want to do one book and um but FedEx did it while I waited so that was fine I'm happy with it only thing is then I found out somebody else gets like a like a heavy window sheet on the front also to help protect the cover so next time i'll do that i'm not going to bother this time if this gets messed up i'll just have them bind another one <laughs> or take this binding off and i don't know i think it'll make it through the year maybe maybe i don't know anyway are you excited for today today is the day right today is go live and we are live and i was on that website like go dark 30 this morning in the middle of the night and i was online with on the phone with some stamping up support because a few things weren't available when i ordered this morning hi karen welcome from texas yeah, Paige says she's excited. Yay. And uh, and then around, I don't know what time it was, 10 o'clock in the morning, I noticed they posted that, oh, those things are available now. I'm like, are you kidding me? I tried to get them to add to my other order because it hadn't, they were still picking. They're still picking. They're being picky picking. But anyway, um they couldn't do it so i just said you know what i want to order those two things anyway i'll tell you what they are when we get to them i placed a ridiculously large order this morning more than much more than my pre-order yeah i'm now broke <laughs> i'm now broke i'm actually beyond a little broke i went into my credit card and i shouldn't have done that anyway so if you want to be able to pre-order you could join my team between now and the 31st of May. And it's a great time because you get 30 extra dollars of goodies in your starter kit that you get to pick all for $99. You get $155 of items you pick only through the 31st of May. It's usually $125 here in the U.S. And it's $155 instead. Um, plus you get free business supplies like catalogs and um, order forms and stuff like, you know, things to do that and um 
free shipping and a paper pumpkin kit. And I don't know that maybe they throw other stuff in there now. I don't know. So that's one option. Join my little team. And even though my team is little, I'm under some, some big wheels who also team up with two other big wheels. <laughs> and um, we have a lot of fun activities and training sessions available to us. So I just throw that out there. And if you just want to place an order, now's the time to place a big order because you get $25 extra in Stampin' Rewards for any order over $250. Yeah, you know, that that's what made, did it for me, right? <laughs> so, uh, way too big next. You'll, you'll see with all the things when we go through the catalog. Anyway, because um, you've seen my, some of you, most of you have seen my... Um, pre-orders so the two you know the big one and then the one little itty bitty one were just more like the papers and stuff that were available which i, I need to tell you something when we get to one of the papers too anyway so you, here's the normal stamp and reward you know 10 percent at 150 dollars 12 percent at 300 they split out this 250 because after once you hit 250 dollars in orders you not only get this percentage you also get an extra $25 plus at 450, you still get your 150% off. Okay. That's all I'm going to say about that. And also don't forget paper pumpkin. If you subscribe by May 10th, you'll get the batter up paper pumpkin kit. I'm actually looking forward to this because it's something different and I like red, white, and blue, you know, we're at Memorial day time almost. And, and it's baseball season. I think, yeah, my daughter just went to a Phillies game. A week ago or so. So anyway, let's get started on the catalog because that's what you're here for. Um, I'm pretty sure I do next, and they're usually hi honeybees. They're usually on based on the catalog, so they're not just in one. They're based on whatever catalog it was for, but. If it was a live, sometimes I forget to do it on live. So you can check. Um, and I'll try and put like an end screen playlist link once this goes live. All right. So let's go into this beautiful catalog. This is an annual. So it's effective. It, it says till April 22nd, but I believe it goes till May 2nd of 2022. Uh, I remember back when I was a teenager, 2020 seemed like, you know, way in the future. Hmm. Not so much anymore. <laughs> okay. Take a sip and just sip being stamps, ink, and paper, and you're ready to begin. Aren't these lovely? These are sharing the, um, there's an artsy set in here, which is really gorgeous. And also... The new in colors, pale papaya, polished pink. Yeah, gorgeous stuff. So, yeah, I'll show you that when we get to it. So, page two, this is Statement of the Heart, which is stamping up, you know, to love what we do and share what we love. I need to get better about that sharing part. And to help others enjoy creativity and worthwhile accomplishments, in this we make a difference. So, this is Shelly, who was one of the co-founders. You're not going to be able to see it on here. And Sarah is in here somewhere, way up here, I think, in the middle with her husband. Yeah. Nope, that's Megan, Nate, and family. Oh, no, here's Sarah. Here's Sarah. Sarah, Sean, and family. And then I'm not sure. These are all children and things, I think. <laughs> you can read the little blurbs on it. And then here's your table of contents. And they... They almost always in the past have um, the all occasion, the birthdays, and then what they do, it's like a sweets table of contents, S-U-I-T-E-S. -E so the all occasion sweets are beauty of the earth, pansy petals, and in the wild. Birthday is geared, uh, you're a peach sweet is geared towards that. Love, thanks, and support, simply elegant and bloom where you're planted. There's actually even a Christmas or holiday suite in here, which I did not get. I'm going to talk to you about that when we get there. And artistic expressions, which I tend to lean towards, but um, expressions in ink suite is the one on the cover and in the front cover here. Hand penned, which I already have. 
and Sweet Symmetry, which I don't have, but I want the paper. <laughs> and then accessories and more, you know, paper, ink, tools, ribbons, embellishments, blah, blah. And then information on hosting a party. And by the way, you don't just have to place an order. You could host a party and have a party of 250 or more. And then the host would get that extra 25 too. So it works that way too. Okay. And then it talks about the stamps, cling and photopolymer. I'm not going to go into a lot of detail on that. If anybody has any questions, you can ask me, stop me, because I don't want to spend too much time on this. And then full spectrum color. One thing I love about Stampin' Up! is their colors, their color families, and how everything perfectly coordinates. That is perfect for me. Um, you know, their ink matches their paper, matches their designer papers, matches their alcohol markers and their dye base markers. I love that about Stampin' Up! That is like one of the main, main things I love. It makes it easy to make beautiful um, end products with not so much effort. Because um, I, I do struggle with matching, you know, like I said in one video at some point, I never knew there were so many shades of purple and how many don't go together. <laughs> like there's so many different variations, right? So the products coordinate sweets coordinate the stamps with the paper the dyes oftentimes cut out images in the papers it's really nice okay so there's something new this year stampin up has taken the kits out of the catalog and they're trying this creativity made easy kits by stampin up so as of this morning we demonstrators had the ability to order one each of 10 kits if we so choose. They are geared towards beginners, okay? So I think when you are able to see them in June and you can purchase them as well, you're going to recognize some of them as looking very familiar. Because right now, at the start, not all of them, but many of them look like former successful paper pumpkin kits. <laughs> um, and they have a combination of all-inclusive ones, which is like a paper pumpkin, right? It has the stamp and spot, the bling, the twine or embellishments or whatever. And then they have some that are for the very, very beginners where they don't even have to stamp. It's just like you can create something easy. And to be honest with you, I only bought one. And I bought one I didn't recognize, although maybe it was just before my time starting. But I recognize this one. I don't recognize this one, actually. Um, I recognize this one with the little critters. Um, this one, the scenery, although it looked a little different to me. Anyway, um, that's what they're doing. So in June, you'll have 10 available. And the reason they're doing that is so that they can change them out. If one sells out, they can bring in something new without having to republish. Um, your favorite paper pumpkin kit on the left, this one here. There was one, um with like a shore and that was one i really loved but i think i still have the stamp set so that's why i didn't get that one i got one that i think goes with another um another stamp bundle that is current right now <laughs> i'm not gonna give that away yet and of course they're still continuing with paper pumpkin so i guess the new kits are going to come in a brown box with stamping up on it and the paper pumpkins will continue to be new items that you haven't seen before. That'll be a surprise each month other than the little hints we drop. Um, and that is pay as you go is $22 a month. And then there's prepaid options, one, three, six, and 12 months. All righty. Let's get into the real stuff. <laughs> oh, yes. That rose one was... A, I think that might have been my first or second distinctive as well. I can't remember. Beauty of the Earth. 
I did get this. The Bark 3D embossing folder was back in, so I ordered that. I actually just ordered that this morning. It came back in like last week. I'm like, I can't keep paying extra, you know, little shipping charges all, all the time. So anyway, I did order the Bark embossing folder. I can't wait. I already have the paper. And the Beauty of Friendship Bundle. And I'm sure you're starting to see people use this. It's trees. But it's more than that. And I love the way the paper cuts. This is going to be a gorgeous one. So I, I started a new system. I have these little dots that I think came from the Dollar Tree. Because they're jot. And I've had them for, I think I bought them to do yard sale either here or at my mom's when we were getting rid of stuff in our house. So I have put green where it's new and I ordered it or have it. And yeah, so did I, honeybees. Uh, oh my gosh. I should have waited till I was more awake, but I was just like, ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Going down my list and saying, no, oh, did I really want that? Yes, I really did. Anyway, <laughs> so I have green for it's new and I either ordered it or have it and I have blue for I have it and it's a carryover and if it's got yellow I'm either undecided or it wasn't available when I ordered this morning and red means I'm probably not ever going to get it <laughs> and that's just my own taste um, but I did that because I have a tendency to highlight and write all over my book and I want to keep my book pretty this year so anyway Actually, I got that idea somewhat from um, Jen, right? Crafty House Kitty Jen. Yeah, she mentioned to me she was doing something with her stamp sets that way. I'm not doing it with my stamp sets, but I'm doing it in my book. Um, the other thing I do, just so you know, is I'm going to flip way to the back. Back, starting on page 172, is this wonderful stamp index. I love this. Well, before I got my book bound, I made my own copy. And you can see I do mark that up. That is the one thing I'm letting myself write all over. So yellow highlight. It was a carrier. It was, I had it already. I used AC for it was a carryover from the previous annual. JJ, carryover from the previous January to June. And somewhere in here, there's a couple H's for a carryover from last year's holiday catalog, which means it was the July to December one, as they call it now. And then pink is what I either have or ordered that's new. Um, and I even wrote little ends next to all the new ones. And I also write the date I ordered it in case I can't remember or need to go check or something like that. So, yeah, I use the index in the back, but I decided not to mess my book up and just make a copy and stick it in there this time. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So it keeps your book nice. So Seascape Bundle is really cute. Now, one thing I'm going to tell you about this catalog is not everything is in a bundle or a suite. And here's the first thing. Layering diorama dies. They are individual dies that aren't part of a bundle. But look what they do. They make an in-depth, well, they can do more than that. But here they've used them like an in-depth pool of water by layering these um, funny edge-shaped <laughs> dies. I did order them this morning. We couldn't get those on the um, pre-order. So I did get them. I did not get this because I have the whale and I have something else and I just figured I, I have enough sea stuff and I haven't even used my seashell set yet <laughs> um okay art galleries carry over from January to June I do have that I just used that not long ago the dies especially and the papers and the stamp I did use the stamp and leaves and the I'm thinking of you so that wasn't too long ago also, if you notice, they have little symbols. I forgot to show that to you. Uh, the little clock means it doesn't take very long. It's a simpler card. I just want to see. They have an N for new, where they're new. Like over here, there's a red N. You cannot see that. 
Am I too far away? There's Jen. Hey, Jen, I, I just got done uh, talking about you. I've got my little colored dots, and I'll show you how I'm using them. So anyway, uh, red is, I'm not getting that one. But um, it is a new set. And then they have these little reversible sign, a distinctive, and the clock, and then English and French, uh, meaning it comes in both languages. But the little clock means it's easy to do. But this is an example of where they step it up. This one's simple. This takes a little more time. And this is more your casual, avid crafter. All right, moving along. A wish for everything I have that's been around for a while. It um, it is not bundled, but it has word wishes dies that go with it. Love it. Um, the welcoming window bundle I just used, oh, I think last week also. Hi, Candy. Welcome. This is a really nice one for Mother's Day or any other occasion. It's got windowsills, pots, pictures flowers and greenery and um bricks brick stuff really nice set I, I need to do more with that i love that one all these on this page are uh carryovers from last year the jar of flowers the mountain air and the celebrate sunflowers and these are reversibles and these are reversible so these two on this page are reversibles which is kind of cool. I haven't seen them anywhere else, actually. This one I pre-ordered and showed it with you. And it's going to be a really nice set. It's one big stamp. You can make a whole calendar for a whole year. Or you can just use it on a card, circle somebody's birthday, anniversary, whatever. And I don't know if you can see it. I'm going to try and get a little closer here. But there's a bird here on a branch. Those are dies. And those are called iconic dies. And there's more to them. There's like flowers and stuff too. They don't come with a set either. The closest thing I found that maybe will go with them. I don't think so. Because uh, it doesn't say it does. Is the etched in nature. And that's probably not available. For reasons we talked about before. But these are just dyes, and it has a bird, branch, flowers, mushrooms, that kind of stuff. Anyway, these would be really nice. Um, it'll probably be a little while till I get to play with that much. Okay, next page, sending hugs. This was a must-have for me in my mind because I don't have anything like it. And it cuts out, the dyes cut out a separate hugs that you can overlay either on the stamped image or build up your other die image. I don't think the die, the big die cuts the big stamp because they don't have it filled in. <clears throat> Excuse me. But the dies do cut these little stamps. Um, there's labels to print some sentiments. And um, it cuts out a whole nother hugs set of words that I think you can overlay on this or the or the die one so to me and they show it up here being used a few different ways right now I feel like I'm down too low because you can't see the whole book <laughs> let me know guys is it too dark too light I've been playing with light too far away whatever all right this is a carryover blossoms in bloom um, here's another standalone product, a macrame 3D embossing folder. I have a yellow on that because I wanted some other ones more. I'm kind of on the fence about it. They're showing it with the Timeless Tropical. It looks really good with that. That's a carryover. Timeless Tropical is a carryover. And these two, Blossoms in Bloom, which is beautiful, and Timeless Tropical are both distinctive stamp sets meaning they have a realistic look when you i'm fine okay thank you when you um, stamp them out garden wishes is a carryover not as a bundle though it does have the dies but they're not bundled anymore dragonfly garden is a carryover they're both carrying over from january to june uh, mini catalog and um 
the punch is bundled with the dragonfly garden, but the dies are not bundled with the garden wishes. So, and they give you little hints in this catalog, like up here it says make it pop, you know, use Stampin' Emboss powder. So don't just look at the products, look at the, the rest of it, and it gives you lots of inspiration. Does me anyway. Painted poppies, like if I ever get stuck, don't know what to do, I leaf through catalogs and and stuff like that. Um, peaceful moments and painted poppies with their coordinating dies but not bundled are carryovers. This is one I got this morning, but I got it as Stampin' Rewards. It's called Stitchery, and they're individual um, stamps because it has eight cling stamps. And it just looks like stitching. So I figured you could put it all the way around a card here. They've used them all. Um, I think that'll look cool. Give your card different textures, you know. And now they are featuring here hand pen memories and more cards and envelopes. And just so you know, those are probably either going to be or are already on back order or... They were not on not, do not order or can order yet as of the time, like an hour before I came on. So they might be going into back order status. There were three things, the bumblebee trinkets, those hand pen memories and more cards and envelopes. And uh, the 2021 to 2023 in color uh, gems, I think it was. Okay, enjoy the moment. That was one we got last year. Um, for those of us that signed up for, I think it was on tour. No. Uh, whatever it is in the fall that we do. <laughs> the big convention that we had to do online. That one. And uh, they're showering blending brushes up here and how to use that. Here's the seashell one. I haven't played with much at all. Um, that bundle actually carried over. So there's a mixture of new, and here we go to new. Green, got this one, whole thing. <laughs> and this one is where the bumblebee trinkets are. So you probably cannot order the suite, but you still can get the stamp and dies and paper. The bumblebee trinkets will have to be uh, ordered later. So you can, that's why you can't order the whole suite. But the rest of it should be available, as far as I know, an hour ago. But when I actually, when I called the place to say, isn't this gorgeous? I'm going to be using this tomorrow night, by the way, this suite of products, Pansy Petals, Pansy Patch Bundle. So, yay, so pretty. And this is one of the ones where the dies actually cut out some of the images in the paper. So we'll do it a couple different ways tomorrow. On stage. Thank you. You know, and I was just reading a post in my Uplines One group today about that. And I just, the name just escaped me. Okay. In Bloom is a carryover from the January to June mini. I have that. Um, they're showing you something up here though plenty of patterns decorative masks they have a new set of appears to be smaller masks but i think it's a pack of four and this is one of them um and again they're showing you an easy project a little bit more difficult and this actually is showing you one from it's a embossing folder from a set we'll get to soon all righty light-hearted lines i didn't put any mark next to that i I don't think I'm going to get it, but I like it. It's <laughs> don't grow up. It's a trap. I agree. It's a trap. <laughs> uh, everything is figure outable. That's probably true too. Anyway, I hate to break it to you, but you're stuck with me. Friends forever. I like that one. And yeah, there's some other just kind of, what do you call those things? Snarky kind of comments. <laughs> Dress to impress. I just used that not long ago for um, a Mother's Day. Um, with the, I used the spiral die, the new stamp, and this, and it was really pretty. So that's carried over. 
and this you'll be seeing soon oh gosh here we go my neighbors and stuff i don't know how to make the sound stop for text messages let me put my phone somewhere else <laughs> not too far away anyway sorry about that um so sweet ice cream the ice cream cone builder punch as far as i know is back in stock right now i think it's getting below inventory again measure of love um is really cute it's got a scale and then it's like a bowl full of um hearts or flowers or whatever and cupcakes or friendship tips the scale it is cute just not sure how much i would use it so i didn't i don't have a yellow or a red or anything because i'm just not sure i probably would this one i had in my cart brew some fun and the reason i did is because um it coordinates with the warm wraps dies that you know we had stuff um, that went around the mini coffee cups and so these fit and i guess the teacup here goes with it and the heart decorated and the little bow so i had it in my cart but there were other things I wanted more, so I put a yellow sticker. So it's in maybe land. <laughs> um, okay, here here's another one that uh, I did get this morning: checks and dots embossing folder. It's hard to see, but it's I think it's here's the checks, and then this one here you you can't you're not gonna be able to see, but it has like a raised polka dot background. And I don't have anything like that. So I went ahead and plopped that in my cart too. <laughs> this one I did get. I think I got it in Stampin' Rewards. Um, it's called What's Cooking, And it's a bundle. And the bundle has this textured um, cutting board. So I'm trying to say. Um and also all these utensils and the pots and pans and the mixing bowl and the salt and pepper shakers. So I thought that was kind of cute. And again, I don't have anything like that. So that's why I got that one. You guys still awake? You can make recipe cards. They're showing recipe cards here. Or just cute little cards. Or even, you know, if you're going to do like neighbor gifts you could give them something that says happy miss happiness is homemade or for you and pictures i know my one neighbor down at the end of the road here is and is she's always cooking she has her own facebook group on cooking and meals and stuff so that would be perfect to give her something all right this one is a carryover called simply succulents that's carrying over from the january to june mini really pretty i need to use it I think I used it once so far. Um, I didn't put a sticker on this. I'll tell you why later. It's a really nice set, though. I almost got this. Um, create with friends. And I like that it's a little bit bigger. Um, handwritten font. Love friends. Amazing. Celebrate. Create. And then it's got some typewritten, but a little bit larger words. Forever happy be ever hello welcome your best together you and let's end day so that is a really nice set i just had to make some decisions <laughs> yeah that's right yeah that's true that's what's cooking that's on page 34 i should be saying that and then up here here's another one they snuck in and i didn't put a sticker on but i got it well i didn't get it yet uh, with any luck like I said, I'll have it tomorrow, but I'm thinking it'll be Thursday because it hasn't as of right before we came on. This is called Pretty Flowers Embossing Folder, and it's really pretty. <laughs> it's definitely pretty flowers. We'll see it again. You can't, you're not going to be able to see it in the white, but it's on page 36 and also um, 155, and it's not a 3d one so it's not a real deep one but it, it makes a nice impression according to the way these cards look lovely you and daisy lane are carryovers and lovely you i think it doesn't say it here but i think that coordinated with a um lovely labels punch it doesn't say that there one of those punches i don't know 
Timeless Tulips is carrying over, and that's a distinctive. And that's a nice one for Mother's Day if you need a quick Mother's Day one. Sunny Sentiments, I went back and forth on, and I de <clears throat> decided to get it because most of the things in here are things I would say. <laughs> and I like this, hoping your birthday is filled with all the best things. I would see me putting happy birthday on the outside and that on the inside of a card. And I also like this, a happy hello to you. And they're nice size fonts as well. There's only five sentiments, but you've got a thank you, a hello. Thought you could use some sunny thoughts today. Who couldn't use that, right? And then the hoping your birthday one. And then I know we've been out of touch, but I think about you more often than you know. Really nice sentiments. So I, I got that for 20 bucks. Less my discount. This one I originally had on my list, too, because I thought it was cute. <laughs> it's called Sharing Sunshine. I did not get it. Um, I had to, like I said, draw the line a couple times somewhere. Uh, but it has some unique sun images. And I think I just thought this was cute. And they also use it like a moon up here. This one here. And then it's got some little sleeping faces and smiley faces and... So, yeah. Anyway, real cute. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, with the ice cream one. Yeah, that's right. Desserts and ice cream and food, regular food. Best chapter is new. Um, it doesn't really coordinate with anything. And I was wondering about these uh, banners which is why I didn't get it but I, I think it's pretty and nice but again I had to draw the line uh, make it happen is million sales achiever Karen Titus's um, stamp set I just didn't think I mean this is great for sending to your crafty friends or congratulations and thinking of you i just wasn't sure i would use it very often so i didn't get that one sorry karen this one i thought was fun bunches of fun is what it's called the older you get the better you get unless you're a banana yeah <laughs> on the brighter side you don't need a cone at least not yet <laughs> like the doggies do anyway you can read them in there in your catalog and lots of cute examples up here. Okay, this one. Many messages. This is the one. It's all one stamp. And then it's one big die. But it cuts out all these sentiments individually. Well, they have another one that goes with the same dies with different sentiments. And that's... I don't have it marked as yellow or red because I, I just... I had it in my on my list. It's sort of in my tier three still. So I don't know what I want to do with that. I actually had that in my cart and then I took it out and uh, put something else in instead. So because I was way over budget already, <laughs> way over. But it's really nice. I like the love and hugs. That drew me to it right away. Um, bundle of joy, Mr. and Mrs. This is, it's, it's nice. And you can stamp them out in all different colors on all different papers. You can heat emboss them, use your stamparatus and get good images over and over again and just spend an afternoon or a couple hours or something doing nothing but stamping both sets of images. And there you have a whole bunch of different things, birthdays, baby, wedding, you know, it's got a happily ever after. Thank you for being my friend. It's a really nice set. And I'll probably at some point in the year, between now and next year, go back and get that one. Probably. <laughs> oh. Hi, Brandy. I'm doing good. Okay, page 43 is the Sweet Strawberry Bundle, which I have a blue dot on. That's carrying over. Also... They did get a shipment in of the punches. It's been back ordered for like months, two months. And they filled, I think, all the back orders that I know people under me, you know, my customers had back ordered. They filled those. They have another shipment coming. It's expected at the end of May. 
at which point they will make it available to order again, either in the mini catalog or through here, because it's carrying over as a bundle. And it is distinctive, and it's super cute. I love that set. And that could go with your recipe thing, too. <laughs> right? Okay. I went back and forth on this one. Because, you know, I like cats. Right? And these are wild cats, though. Big cats. Tigers. I love this white tiger. I wasn't as crazy about the sentiments. And also, just me. I wasn't as crazy about the paper. But I saw somebody show the paper. And then I was like, maybe I need that too. And honestly, I was going to get the animal print embossing folder anyway, because I have to have that because it's animal print. I, I got it. It was one of the less expensive uh, suites that there is at um, $57.50 for the whole suite, $38.50 for the bundle, and then $7.50 for the animal print embossing folder. And then there's 12 by 12 paper and the dies cut out. And that's probably why I did it too, because the dies cut out some of these wild cats. So I might be using the reverse side of the papers a lot because I see I'm going to like those, I think, more than the fronts, except that one. I love that paper. But um, yeah, I, I caved and got it. And you see they have different... Like they have a stripe you can add to a head or the leopard spots you can add to the head. And then here's the body spots and tiger stripes. Plus you have some greenery and there's dyes to cut those out. I could see using have a wild birthday for some young people <laughs> or just a hello or thanks you're the beast maybe. Yeah. Yeah, well, I'm a cat person, so yeah, I definitely am a dog person, too. Oh, my daughter, my granddaughter had her first communion Saturday, and I made it through it, and then I got sick Saturday night, because I had my second shot on Friday. Anyway, um, my daughter said to me there, now she has two cats, she said, I'm thinking of getting another Shih Tzu, I'm trying to talk Charles into letting me get a dog. <laughs> Like, really? <laughs> With your two cats? You always wanted cats? <laughs> oh. Yeah, there you go, Jen. <laughs> oh, boy. A good man is a carryover. I don't have it. I'll probably not get it. This, to me, this is a new one. It's called Hats Off, baseball-ish, or just... If you guys wear these baseball caps, which I know um, I used to go out with one that did. Um, and I think Christopher's father did or he I don't know if he still does or not. I haven't seen him in many years. But anyway, um, it's a cool set. And I think that's going to sort of coordinate with the um, paper pumpkin kit for May. Don't hold me to that, though. <laughs> and look, there's a tiger on there, too. And mountains and number one. And so this is like geared towards your guy, your dad, or anybody that wears these hats, really. So, yeah. Ugh, sorry. I have little clips up here on the top and they're kind of getting in the way. All right. This one didn't really do anything for me. It's called Path to Greatness. I thought this was cool, but I thought... I probably would not like coloring that. <laughs> it's just me. It's a beautiful image. I just don't know if I would want to color it. Um, so, yeah, to each his own. But they have some really cool looking cards up here. And I don't think they really colored much of it on this one. They just stamped it. Um, this one I had on my list and took it off and put it back on. And it's called Bamboo Beauty. I just thought it was different. And... Yeah, I just kind of liked it. So, <clears throat> but it didn't make the final cut for now. And whiskey business is a carryover. I don't have it. I don't drink much whiskey. Don't know anybody that does here anymore. So I didn't get that one either. You didn't notice the hat set before? Ah, yeah. See, that's on page 47 page. Yeah, I think it's actually, the hat is kind of big looking let's see if it has a 
I don't see a size on here, what the biggest size is. Um, I'm not sure. Maybe it, maybe it says in the dies back on page 159 how big the biggest hat die is there. Anyway, okay. All right, now this one I was, I'm on the fence still about. I, don't, I didn't order it yet. This is Frenchie Martin's Million Sales Achiever. And I saw her do a video a couple weeks back where she showed all her sample cards and cards she made for swaps and stuff with her own set. And they were gorgeous. They were gorgeous. So you just have to have an imagination the way she used the clouds and stuff. It's called After the Storm. It says, even the darkest night will pass and the sun will rise. You have been on my mind. A little sunshine for your day. Just because, I mean, these could be raindrops. These could be a dirt road. It's got little birds. I just, I don't know. I, it was another thing, again, of how often would I use it? I might, because that's more like the artsy kind of thing. I just, again, had to draw a line. But it's really a nice set. Handsomely suited, I have. I've only used it like twice. And I need to use that real soon because it's a Father's Day set. This is the one that has the dies that cut the suit and ties and the bows and stuff. So I'll be using that again soon. Hopefully with the paper that before it retires. <laughs> and by the way, the well-suited paper, the uh, sea and sand or whatever it's called, paper with the seashells. And one of the other ones, the fine art I think it is, are low inventory. And I'm pretty sure the ice cream paper, maybe it was, just went on back order. But it's still it's still orderable. Yes, yay, Paige. <laughs> and then you have to pick what you want for free with that once you hit that 250. Sailing homes, carryover from a carryover. Uh, here's those layering dioramas again with this gorgeous scene with the lighthouse and the sailboat. I, I had to get those diorama dies. I just think they're going to be. And here's an example of one we use in Frenchie's set. Anyway. <sighs> okay, this one, you've probably been seeing lots of people that we know doing this one. This is gorgeous. I bought it with the, with the pre-order. It's the Inspired Thoughts Bundle. You have all these sentiments, including some for the holidays. And these, this canopy of trees here. It's the Inspired Thoughts Bundle with the canopy dies. Here it's used with Nature's Beauty, which is right here. Carry it over. I love that set. Um, I love how they did this. Here they used it with Campology, which I just used the other day, too. But I used it with the spiral die and made a Father's Day kind of card. But I like this better. So that's, that's a really nice... Highly recommend page 52. Get that bundle. <laughs> okay. Nature's beauty and campology, which is right here with the tent carryovers. Love the deer, the fox, the bunny. Love that whole set. And they're showing here the bloom where your planted designer series paper, which is on page 131. We'll get to that later, but they're using it with nature's beauty. Okay. Best, um, not best grandkid, a grandkid. Wonderful set if you have grandchildren or know somebody who does. I have that to carry over. Pampered Pets is a carry over. And I just thought for some reason, I just didn't get it. I love that cat though. But uh, it's cute. The paper's not carrying over. <laughs> All righty. Um, wildly Adorable is a new set for like little children, babies, you know, it's little babies dressed up in cutesy little costumes like bunnies and teddy bears and lions. I didn't get that one. I did get a different one though. Um, and this is a cute way to, to do it with stitched rectangle dies. I like that. Anyway, now this one, I need a sticker because this is the one, one of the two 
when I first placed my order, the turtle punch. There is a turtle punch. I love turtles. Anyway, um, it wasn't available yet. And then partway through the morning sometime, it became available. So that's when I was on the phone with them. So I have ordered it, but it's not in the stuff that's coming tomorrow because they couldn't, they could not add it to my other order. So look at this card. They did a slimline card. And this is from the Give It a Whirl dies. This is where you really have to look at the stuff in this catalog. Over here... And on, they show them more on page 163, and I'll show you that. But this is one of these cards where it has openings, and the images are behind. And it, you can spin it with, you know, you have, and there's Brad's here, too. Um, I got it. I was only going to get the dies and the Brad's, because I don't have white and black Brad's. But... I ended up getting this stellar birthday because it's cute. And look, there's a little girl astronaut and a doggy astronaut and a rocket. And I like I like stars and rockets and stuff. I've got little neighbors now, so I can use it. <laughs> yeah, the turtle's available now um, as a bundle. But the lady said to me it was selling quickly. So if you want that one, that's a popular one, I think. And um, yeah. It's birthday, forever friends, hello little one, time to celebrate. I love that. It's time to celebrate. You are totally loved. You're totally loved. You're all totally loved. Yeah, yeah, it is cute for a younger one. I think this sort of looks like my neighbor's little girl, but with a astronaut costume on. So I might make something for her with that. The little boy they have is a little too young yet, but. Anyway, so it's cute and planets and all that stuff. This next one, eh, I mean, I couldn't get all these children ones because I don't have anybody to, to do it. But if you like mermaids and pirates, here you go. Ahoy there, matey. It's your birthday. You are amazing and you're a treasure. So it's cute. And actually, one of those new masks is like mermaid scales. I do like that. Um, so, and then down here's a new set called One Happy Family. Um, I thought about it. It's sort of like the itty bitty greetings we used to have, only it's all about family and, um, new, you know, pregnancy, birthdays, new babies, <laughs> um, congratulations, that kind of stuff. This one I got as my 50% off item um, because I thought I could keep this forever. It's got little baby clothes and a teddy bear, which could be for a boy or a girl. There's little hanger dies. Um, they have little outfits on a clothesline. I just thought it was cute. Not that I have that many people with little ones, but... It'll be a keep it around, and if you ever have somebody, you know, maybe a neighbor. Actually, my one neighbor's daughter is uh, expecting. So, there you go. I'll have something for her. So, it's really cute. It's $38.50 for the bundle. And I like that it has the little hangers and little bibs. There's two, another little bib, too. So, there's two kinds. I don't know what these are, but I'm sure I'll figure that out. <laughs> Maybe they're the little footsie things that go with it. I don't know. I don't know what they are. But And there's little clothespins even to clip things onto the, the little stamped line. Really cute. Hi, Jackie. Oh, really? You can feed the desert turtles? That's pretty cool. You missed. I'm on page 60 out of 100 and I don't know. 70 something I think <laughs> I'm going kind of slow I've uh, been doing it for 50 minutes all right you're a peach I love this one the only thing I didn't get I didn't get these little jars so I didn't get the whole suite but I did get the bundle 
and the paper paper is really pretty i love the blue with the peachy colors i like peaches i like to eat them anyway um i'm not real big on canning them because it's a really messy job but anyway i like to have a peachy day happy birthday i like the font in this actually plus i i just like peaches and um the dies go with it so yeah that has a green one and it's distinctive i would think you southern folks with the peach states would like them <laughs> you can go back and rewatch whenever it goes up yeah well i might have to you know that might be one of my case of card things <laughs> to get me started sometimes i have to do that to get started and then once i get started i'm on a roll so we'll see all righty um over here first hippo happiness is a carryover i do not have that but i do have and highly recommend the hippo and friends dies that go with it they're on page 163 um and if you haven't seen those if you've been on my channel at all, you've seen because it has these, these things, these things, and these things in layers. They're kind of messed up in there now. Plus, it has the hippos and stuff. But I don't have the little critters. I just have the, which actually, those would be cute. Oh, never mind. I can't tell you that yet because I'm not there yet. <laughs> There's another die that those would look cute with. Celebrate with flowers. I was thinking about getting this because I don't have any vertical stamps like this. I like this happy birthday going up and down, but I didn't get it because I have other stuff I wanted more like this one. I love, love, love this one. Now, remember back here, there was, um, back a little bit, there was, if I can find it again, I didn't think it was that far back. Wow. I guess it was. Oh, yep. Yeah, nope. One more. This uh, Create with Friends. It's kind of a larger font, um, but it's more about friends and creating and celebrating. This also has friends, birthdays, and thanks and hello. And you've got the large, bold font like this. You can see here. Um, here they've used the happy and big bold and then the birthday and the script right over top of it. Um, I, I really like this one. I think I'll get a lot of use out of it. I think it's a keeper. Um, so, yeah. And then up here, I did not order this one, but I didn't mark it red or anything. Flower market die. There is this one big die. And it's called flower market. And it cuts out... Um, all these different flowers like daisies and uh, and not here's little bits coming out i didn't get it because i thought i don't know how often i'll use that either and i wanted something else more that i'll show you later really <laughs> yeah i i really like that big font you know we have a lot of regular fonts i'll call them right but we don't have too many large ones so that's why i like that i do like that vertical happy birthday but i don't know anyway all right moving on page 64 this is way to go i have it i haven't used it yet need to use that one here's happy birthday chick it's in the january to june mini here it tells you about the dies you can get it bundled now though between now and june 30th the bundle goes away for the new annual. So order it out of the January to June. <laughs> I, I guess. I, I think you can still do that through the end of June. Yeah. And also, hey, chick, that other bundle, as far as I know right now, goes away at the end of June. And it's not in this catalog. Told you that before. From all of us, that's a carryover. I don't have that one either. Yeah, that's why I've been telling people you have to look above where the stamps are because they're they tell you about now it's back in with the dies too. So you got to really look at every every page and we're going to get to this one in a minute. Like right now. <laughs> this one here is called Peekaboo Farm. And I thought about it 
because it's really cute. It's got cows and pigs and sheep and lambs and horses and stuff. Um, rams and sheep. And it's got like a wall and little tails and birdies chirping. Well, it's meant to go with this picture, this dies. There's a die set in the back of the catalog on page 164. And one of them cuts out all these circles. And one of them cuts out little squares. And it's, this is called Peekaboo Farm because it's meant to use with their hooves hanging out over the circle or the square or whatever. But you don't have to do it that way. And then also... When you cut that out, it's one die, well, two, one for circles and one for squares. Then you have all those pieces of paper that are stitched. The inside part is stitched and the outside part is stitched. You don't have to use it with critters. You can just use it for sentiments and designer paper showing through, which is probably what I'll do most of the time. Um, so, yeah, that that's a really... The picture of this dies, I did get. Um, I did not get this set. I just wasn't sure I'd use that very often, especially since I bought that other baby set. Happiest of birthdays, carry over. Love this one. Great birthday set. Especially if you're like me. Happy should say a lot a bit late birthday instead of a little bit late. But anyway. Okay, party puffins. I got that in the pre-order. They're puffins, not penguins. They're cute. They're cute. I may be, you know, they're cute. I'll just leave it at that. <laughs> okay, Simply Elegant. I didn't get this. I was going to get the paper. I don't really care for the punch, the little scrolly thingy. It's just not my style. So the only thing I got out of this bundle is the gold and silver uh, trim twiny stuff which I've shown before they have a picture of it down here um, the sentiments are nice it's more lovey anniversary so if you have you know hubbies and people having anniversaries and stuff like that it's nice for that I was I'm still thinking about the paper because the paper has copper gold and silver foiling on different sheets and I like the idea of that, but um, I'm just, and what's really weird though is they got rid of the silver foil, so but they have silver foil in some of this paper. So I don't know if it's coming back in a holiday catalog. Um, yeah, they're, they're puffins though. They're not really penguins, but you know, you could probably pass them off as penguins. Anyway, so I didn't get that. I know some of you did. And that's wonderful to each his own. And I actually watched a lady the other day, a couple days ago when I wasn't feeling good, take this punch, punched it out and used it as um, like a stencil and just colored with different colors on her paper. And she made a really pretty background. I just think I can do that with <laughs> different ways. The paper, yeah, the paper does look gorgeous. I don't know. That might be my next, one of my next sometime. All right. This one was a must have for me. It's called Encircled in Friendship. Um, and it has these Encircled in Beauty dies, which makes circle frames. Now these are kind of lacy, frilly, you know, elegant. Also, they're more my style. <laughs> I don't know why. This I just like the sentiments in this better um to for me um you know just a note to let you know that someone thought of you today i can use that anytime um with heartfelt thanks i can use that anytime you're the best i can use that anytime so uh, to me this was more me than the one on the previous page and it's a bundle encircled in friendship on page 70 forever fern of course carried over did not carry over as a bundle. So sorry if you missed out on that through yesterday. Um, they are showing it with the bark embossing folder, which is a must have in my opinion. That was back in that one of the other suites. Okay, through it together is a sentiment stamp set. Um, it's nice. I like it. 
it's smaller. It's along the lines of those itty bitties again, but kind of nice, um, you know, supportive kind of sentiments is what I'll say. I'm here for you. I miss you. Warmest wishes. Get well soon. That kind of thing. Stay strong. Um, it's really nice. I had it on my maybe list. It's still on my maybe list. <laughs> Um, they are also showing that used and some of these others used with the 2021 to 23 in color shimmer vellum. I shared with that with you in my last haul comes in multiple colors, the new in colors. So pale papaya, fresh freesia, polished pink. This is the papaya. That peony looks really pretty in the papaya. All right, speaking of peonies, here's the prize peony, no longer bundled, forever blossoms. Car they're both carryover, no longer bundled. Both beautiful sets. I don't have this one always in my heart, and it's no longer bundled either. It goes with floral heart dyes. It's pretty. More Valentine-y, lovey, lovey stuff. <laughs> Where's me? Hi, Brina. Welcome. We're up to page 75. Shaded Summer is on my list, but then I thought I have another set that's sort of similar, so I held off on that one too, but it's stored, sort of still on my list. They're showing it used with gold and rose gold 6x6 six six metallic specialty paper. I did order that. It's only $5. I forget how many you, you get, um, but... I'll tell you when we get to, back to that page. So, but this is really pretty. It has nice sentiments and I just have a lot of flowers and similar sentiments. So I held off on that one. Positive thoughts is really nice. It's a carryover. I have that one. Forever grapevine. It's funny because I have a grapevine and the only thing it grows is lantern flies. <laughs> That's not true. It grows grapes and they shrivel on the vine before I can ever get to pick them. Um, but also we've had a lantern fly problem the last two years and they love the grape arbor and it just started producing grapes the year they started invading it. So I didn't get that one. It's a long story for that. <laughs> the above and beyond. This one here. I don't see above and beyond. Or were you talking about this one? Yeah, above and beyond. You go there a lot. I, I do really like that one too. The Shaded Summer. Yep. The Vine one. Yeah. If you're a wine drinker or no wine drinkers and stuff, that would be a nice one. Or people that grow uh, grapes and stuff. Ornate Thanks, of course, is a carryover. Um, it's a nice set too. It's photopolymer. Um, I really like that. I wish they would have carried over the dyes that went with that too, but oh well. Woe is me. Flowers of Friendship Bundle. We got this. I got this in the pre-order. Um, and um, Barb Stamps here on YouTube. She's one of Dina's good friends. And um, they collaborate, her and Kelly Atchison. And which is a stamp above, I think, on YouTube. Anyway, Barb did a um, showcased how to use this set at that on tour session that some of us got to go to. And I was like wowed at the various ways she used it. And so if I can remember all of them. <laughs> I'll be trying some of those techniques, obviously put my own twist on some of them because I can't remember what she did all of it anyway, but the way she used the punch and everything. So it's a reasonably priced bundle at $35 and I should have had that green dot down here at the bundle because I got the bundle and it's a flower punch and our other little small bloom went away. So there you have it. Um, life is better with friends like you. I can just use these sentiments too all the time. So really pretty. This is really pretty up here. Anyway. Okay. Moving on. Beautiful moments. Carryover. I do have it. 
as far as I remember, I only used it once. This was a Million Sales Achiever Jackie Williams set, or still is. Okay, now, Ms. Page, I wasn't going to get this, but guess what? I did. <laughs> I got the whole suite. <laughs> Uh, because the more I looked at it, I really liked the font. I thought it's not flowery plants. It's just plant plants. And I can use that sometimes more than flowers. Plus, I really like this paper lattice. And also, if I run out of that cat paper or decide I don't like it, this has some papers in it that I think will go good with the big cats. <sighs> And I like their card samples, so yeah, I got it. The whole suite is $65, which isn't bad for a stamp and all these dies that you get. And the 12 by 12 papers and the paper lattice, which is like a craft um, paper. Um, I forget how many you get, probably, I don't know, 8 or 10 or something. I'll have to go look. But you could even use that to like a stencil, right? and make it look like a lattice without having the texture or you can have the texture so yes i caved i gave in i got it <laughs> i don't know when i'll get to use it but yes i did get it there put that green dot on there okay this one's really cute count on me i love those little koala bears they did the mirror technique here for these bears which are really cute too I didn't get it because I have I bought that other baby one again. Plus I have a baby one, sort of baby one already. Um, Whale done is a carryover. Free as a bird is a carryover. Stitched greenery dye is brand new. They do show it on a sample card at the top of 82. It just leaves. Uh, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. The um, it leaves a stitching imprint in the paper. And they used it as a background on this uh, free as a bird card here. Really pretty. Had to get it. <laughs> here they use the diorama dies again that I told you about. Layering diorama dies with the whales again. Only this time they did it the opposite way. They raised them up instead of making it look deep. So, yeah. Sweet farewell. If you know anybody going on a long trip, if we're allowed to do anything like that in the near future, I don't know. Um, and right behind you, they're both new. They're not for me, but they probably will appeal to others. So, yeah. This is like for teamwork and, you know, sharing the ride, it says. Uh, well, the ride could be your journey through life or whatever. And this is more like someone going off to college, someone going on vacation more, or just to see you later, you know, hopefully. Back on your feet is a carryover. It's just kind of a get well, hope you heal quickly. They use the um, animal print behind the giraffe, which is why one of the reasons why I was going to get it anyway. But yeah, and they use the border dies up here on this one with this little... Um, doggy thing here and flowers <laughs> so which i got in the pre-order we'll show you them later badger besties this is for best friends they're cute if you like cutesy they're cute <laughs> hi mary johnson am i silent to everyone can you guys hear me let me check my sound level. I think it's up, though, all the way. Yep, I'm at 100% sound, so I'm not sure. You can hear me. You can hear me. I think it's on your end, Mary, because others can hear me. Sorry. Let me take a sip of tea. Okay, so we were at Badger Besties. It's cute for, you know, celebrating your bestie. Senior years is a carryover. Um, I don't have it. I don't have either one of these. This is a carryover. I do have that, and I don't have it marked. Shame on me. 
This is Nothing's Better Than. Uh, it's no longer bundled. And it goes with the Love You More Than dies. Coffee, chocolate, cookies, cocktails. Probably none of which I should have and all of which I love. So, yeah, not so much the cocktails anymore. But And here's where they're showing off one of the pages where they do the ombre gift bags, which I showed you in my last unboxing. They're really pretty, pretty. They're all in the new in colors. And I think you got four of each and they're a nice size. See, they have a big chocolate chip cookie in there. <laughs> yum, yum, yum. <laughs> These little dots I'm using came from Dollar Tree, but many years ago, I don't know that I've seen them in the last six months or a year. Uh, they're like in the office supply, they're Jot brand and they're just called color coding labels. So I'm putting blue dots for anything that's a carryover that I have and green dots for anything that's new that I bought or ordered. Um, so that's, I'm doing it because I have a tendency to write all over my catalog and I don't want to do that this time. I want to try and keep it sort of neat. And then I do write in one place which is I made a copy of the stamp index in the back starting on page 172. And I write on that, highlight it in yellow if it's a carryover and I have it. I put AC for annual catalog. That means the old one, it carried over from the old one. J to J, January to June carryover. And a couple of them are HC, which I use for holiday catalog. And then the pink ones are all the ones I ordered. And then I put little comments, get, you know, that kind of stuff. So that, I made a copy though. So I used, usually just write all over that. But I'm trying to keep my catalog neat. And that is my guide. Because sometimes I forget what I have too. And then I can look at it and say, oh, I already have that. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay, so that was that one. Okay, here's the Christmas one in the set and in the catalog. I did not get it. I had it on my list. Um, I really think this set is nice. The tidings and trimmings bundle. It's got stars and stockings and stuff. But truth be told, I want to wait and see what comes out in the next mini. And that's just me because I think it's a really nice um, set. So if you are interested in starting your Christmas cards early, 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 Go ahead and get this because it's pretty. And there's paper even also. A six by six uh, tidings of Christmas paper. And there's an evening evergreen ribbon. I did order the ribbon this morning. The evening evergreen because I didn't have any of that dark green ribbon they show here. It's a um, three-eighths inch chevron weave ribbon. I have to say though my ribbon drawer looks pretty sad right now because there's not as many ribbons in this catalog. <laughs> All right, now a couple things I did order. There's a festive foliage. It's like um, a big background stamp, but it's not back in with the background stamps. It's here on page 90. Festive foliage. It's beautiful. It's got, I don't know, like holly and pine boughs and all that kind of stuff. Mistletoe, I think is the right word. So I got that because I think that'll make a really beautiful, well, they show it up here. Um, if you can see that and they've used different colors to color in some of the leaves and stuff. Hard to see. Sorry. All right. Snowflake wishes is carryover. I have that one. This one I did get, this is called evergreen elegance bundle. And I got it because I wanted this doggone evergreen elegance punch, <laughs> evergreen border punch. <laughs> so because it punches out these little Christmas trees that you can put on your card see it up here like this you can do it in foiling all kinds of pretty things and probably that oh that would be so pretty with that um, evergreen what is it called evening evergreen shimmer vellum right with those trees I can't wait to use that that was one of the two things that was not originally available this morning and then it became available and I called back and ordered it. So yeah, that won't be coming in my, my express box, but it will be coming sometime this month, hopefully. 
Okay, bye, honeybees. Oh, chorus concert. Wonderful. They're all canceled up here. Have fun. Enjoy. Okay, poinsettia petals. That's a carryover from last holiday. Unfortunately, the pretty papers that went with it, most of them are not carried over. But the dies are. It's just not bundled. Snowman season is a carryover. And it has the snowman builder punch. So that carried over. Not bundled anymore. And perfectly plaid is the one with the pine tree punch. I'm so glad that carried over because this is my absolute favorite Merry Christmas sentiment that there is anywhere. Um, so anyway, then they have this one called Season's Blessings Bundle. It's pretty too. I thought about it, but I'm going to wait on that too. It's got different baskets and poinsettias and different leaves. And I don't know, since I already got the other potted plant thing and I already have the poinsettia bundle that's why I didn't get it but it's a pretty set season's blessings that's a nice saying too banner years of carryover I have that and that I think goes with the banner pick a punch it doesn't say that here though that's really weird hmm um, but they are also showcasing here the tailor made tags dies which I actually have used a couple times already and I really like them. They come in two shapes. This sort of um, squared off, if you will, and this little bit fancier. And then one, two, three, four sizes each. Plus they have the reinforcer thingies. I don't have my new stuff on some of my old stuff, even on magnets yet. But I did get the tailor-made tag dies. They also are showcasing the Simply Classic Treat Boxes. There are these itty-bitty little ones. I didn't get those. I got the big craft ones I showed you, but I didn't get the little ones. Anyway. All right. I got this. Um, I did not get the suite. I got the bundle and the beautiful paper, which is what they're showcasing back here and somewhere else in here. There was another page that had it. Anyway, you know what I mean. Beautiful. What I didn't get was the Expressions in Ink Ephemera pack, which has the gold foiling bits. And a pack, um, and it comes with a pack of uh, adhesive sequins. So I got the paper and the, and the stamp and die bundle. I can't wait to use that, actually. I think it looks really cool. And again... A little bit larger sentiments than some stamps so I'm looking forward to that one and it's distinctive so really pretty that's on page 96 and 97 with which one with the um, yeah I will <laughs> at some point I, I just have too much to do and not enough time and I'm kind of behind again Okay, color and contour bundle I got in my first pre-order because we could. And I have not used it yet. Um, it, well, I lie. I have used the dies quite a bit. I love these dies. And I will show them to you if I can find them. <sighs> Here they are. Nope, that's Stitch So Sweet. They're bigger than Stitch So Sweet. Eh? Here they are. Nope, that's true. Wow, what did I do with them? Ruh -roh. Uh oh. Yikes. I might have lost my dies. Well, anyway, <laughs> you have seen me use them. I don't know where they went. Huh. I probably put them somewhere else or have them out to use on something. Sorry, I can't find them, guys. Anyway. Um, these are the ones with the big scallops on that I've used recently a couple times. Um, scallop contours dies is what they're called. So if you want, you could get just the dies, but the set's nice too. And it's really, I don't know, it's only, the stamp set's only $21. So you get 10% off of that. 
10% off the dies. If you get a bundle, to me, it was just worth it. And there's some, I'm seeing people make some really beautiful things with it, is what I started to say. All Things Fabulous is a carryover. I do have that. And it has the Fabulous Florals dies, which has this beautiful piece, which I used a long time ago, but I haven't used it recently. Um, yeah. Okay, then we have Henna Hearts which I'm not really into henna, so I didn't get that one. Um, up here, they're showing the um, Etched in Nature, which is over here, which you probably cannot order because that's the one we got for Ontour that people were having trouble with. I'm not sure what they're doing with that yet, but it really is a pretty stamp set if they can fix the issues. Um, here they're showing the scallop craft treat boxes with the gold dots on it. They also use the bark 3D embossing folder and the bumblebee trinkets, which are probably on back order again already. Very Versailles, a carryover. I don't have that one. It's very nice for um, vintage looking cards or things you make. And this is the one, to me, looks like it might go with that iconic dies, but I'm not sure. Okay, I was totally on the fence on both of these, because um, I like stuff like this. <laughs> it's basically circles, rectangles, ovals that go with the oval dies, right? It goes with the stitched rectangles and the layering circles. This one, they're called watercolor shapes maybe later and i love you know this is the adult version of that little space one before with the moon and the stars and the phases and all that um always reach for the stars i just wasn't sure who i'd use it for a card with um other than to show share with you so i held off but i really love this one in particular and this one if you follow uh, Sarah Douglas CEO Facebook page, she used a different set and she took like a stylus, all right, stamped on, put ink on the stamp, turned it over and made designs with the stylus on the stamp and then stamped it. And I thought this set would be perfect for that. Really cool. So I don't know. I might end up getting one of them someday. Excuse me a second. Seventeen people watching. Nobody's talking. Okay, best year is a carryover. I don't have this one. I don't think it's more. Um, well, it's actually a, a good set. <clears throat> it's got thank you for all that you are to the world. Your dad to me. You're the world. Happy birthday. Wishing you your best year yet. That could be for New Year's, could be for birthday, warm wishes for a happy Christmas. So it's all about having a great year, whether it's a birth year or a new year or whatever. It's actually a nice set. I'm surprised I don't have that one. <laughs> Not on my radar for some reason. Oh, wow. For your own wedding candy or somebody else? That's cool. <laughs> Hand penned. Already got this whole suite in pre-order. I love this set. It's beautiful. The paper, the stamps, everything about this one just is me. Love it. Love it. Love it. Haven't used it yet. Um, it's stamps and dies. There's lots of dies. And it also has these beautiful uh, mint macaron and pale papaya genial gems which i believe i have two packs of now um let's see yeah photopolymer set dies 12 by 12 designer series paper which they don't they sort of show here but it's better to look in the back and see and the colors are pretty okay jackie thank you for stopping by and listening while you could friend's daughter oh wow well congratulations 24 is nothing to uh 
I, it's something to write home about. I guess that's how I should say it. Okay, here's Butterfly Brilliance. I don't have that marked, but that's a carryover, and I do have it. Oh, I do have it marked down here at the bundle. So they were saying it's going goodbye, but it didn't. And right next to it is another full background kind of stamp, which I had to get. It's called Daisy Garden. Won't that go great with the... Um, the daisy lane and also i think with the dragonfly set and the butterflies too it's a gorgeous set and um here this card i was just like wow what they did is they stamped it and then they stamped it again and colored the flowers and with some of them they popped them up and it just looks to me awesome plus they have a thing going on here like a diagonal cut beautiful card I want to try that, <laughs> but other things too. So love that. And that is not back with the background stamps. So down here, they have a little note that if you like that kind of large stamp, there's more background stamps on page 118. We're on page 106 right now. Plus the festive foliage one is on page 90, which I already showed you. Garden bird houses. This is a must for me. Because every morning while I have my coffee, I look out my window and see if the bird um, feeder has any feed. Plus, I have two bluebird houses, which sometimes get bluebirds and sometimes get other birds. Um, right near my where my grape arbor is. <laughs> so, I had to have the bird houses. And there's all different kinds. And they're cute. And they'll go good with the free as a bird and the... Um, the other bird set. I forget what it's called. It's right here. Birds and Branches. So here's Birds and Branches carrying over. It's not bundled anymore. Hand-drawn blooms. It's really pretty. I don't have it. It kind of has that curvy sentiment thing. It goes with banner blooms dies. I just, I don't know. I don't have it. But it's pretty. Um, Hydrangea Haven. Just use this for something, the color combo collab. So if you missed that, that was on April 30th. I'd use this set for two cards and I used the peony set for two cards. And that carried over as a bundle, which really, they carried over quite a few bundles. They never used to do that. The bundle pricing, the 10% off. Okay, Quiet Meadow. I got in pre-order also as a bundle. That's another really pretty one. Has meadow dyes. With the dyes are really what wowed me on that one. And it also could look a little vintagey with the things they have in here and this little love tag. It's really pretty. Love this one. Tasteful touches. I used the feather back on more. I don't know the third Sunday, the 18th on the monthly card collab for one of the cards anyway. Um, love this flower here. And these go with the tasteful label dies that I use for other stuff all the time. But a couple of the sentiments are meant to go with that. And it's got some sort of vintagey looking stuff on here too. So it's another really nice set. It's no longer bundled. I'm not sure it was bundled before. Okay, this suite is called Sweet Symmetry, and I didn't order it. Um, it's a stamp and punch bundle, and actually this is another one that had been not orderable, and then it became orderable, but I decided to hold off on this. I do really like the colors in the paper with the Knight of Navy and the Just Jade and stuff, but... I'm going to wait a little while and I'll show you why when we get further back in the catalog, like way back in the catalog. <laughs> but it's a pretty set. I It's different kinds of flowers than what you see. And the, again, the sentiments are a little bigger than some. And I like that. You're perfectly unique. See, that fits me to a T. <laughs> I'm definitely not perfect, but I'm perfectly unique for sure. I should change my channel name to You Are Perfectly Unique. <laughs> oh boy but it's really bright happy colors and I like that about it a lot too the papers and stuff anyway very pretty I don't have that one to show share with you but teak boutique batik boutique 
batik boutique. Anyway, however you say that, it's another one with different types of flowers. I love this card, but I didn't get it. And here they're showing it on, well, actually, that's Queen Anne's Lace, which I do have. Um, see, I have some things that are kind of similar, you know. Anyway, I haven't used this yet, Queen Anne's Lace, but I do have it. So I need to get on the ball and use that. And Love of Leaves. And now this one doesn't have as, any dyes or anything. It's a two-stepper. Love of Leaves is photopolymer, and it has stitched leaves dyes. You know, this is the one that it... Um, stitches the part you cut the leaves out of. Uh, here they're talking again about these masks that, and I already put a green sticker on them, so I'm not going to do it again. Anyway, Art in Bloom. I'm on the fence about this one just because I already have getting that other artsy one, but it's pretty. <laughs> It's, again, more about friendship and happiness and that kind of thing. Art in Bloom bundle. You know what? I really wanted this for one thing. There's a Bloom hybrid embossing folder. It cuts and um, embosses from what I understand. So I'm going to have to wait and see other people use it, and then I'll decide. I don't have that marked. This one, I was only going to get the dies. It's called All Squared Away. It's on page 117. I got the bundle. It just wasn't that much more, really, for me, I guess. I don't know. So I got it. Um, I really like the dies. It cuts out these little squares that have flowers in them. And then you can put either stamp behind them or put other papers behind them or embossed papers or whatever you want, really. Um, so I like it cause it's something different and I don't have anything like that. Not much like that. So, um, that's why I got that all squared away. That's called. Hey, welcome back. Oh yes. You know, it's like 81 degrees here and I, I'm dreading having to put the air conditioning on soon. But I think it's supposed to cool down again tomorrow, so I'm not going to. Okay, this is page 118. Here's where the background stamps are. Birch, dry brush, or carryovers. Wild roses is carryovers. I don't have that one. Spiral dye, you've seen me use at least twice in the last couple weeks. Stack stone I have. I don't think I've used that much. And then I wrote down here, see also page 106 for Daisy Garden and page 90 for Festive Foliage because they're not on here. But they're also big stamps that I consider background stamps. I guess they don't, but I do. So that's why I said really look throughout your catalog because not everything's all in the same place. Okay, handmade for you. This is carrying over. If you sell your cards, you need to be putting the copyright Stampin' Up! image thing on the back of them. Or this little scissors one with the at Stampin' Up! Um, that's their copyright symbol. There's an angel policy. You can go online and look at the bottom of the website. I think they have a link for it and you can read all about that. Um, oh, wow. My house is usually cooler than outside, usually, until we get to midsummer, and then it's like, ugh. So, anyway, I don't have that one because I have an old one with the Stampin' Up! logo, and, yeah. But it's pretty. I, like, I know a lot of people like the dress forms and stuff, so, anyway. Isn't this page, isn't this page just, ugh! Uh, drool worthy <laughs> all these beautiful colors and butterflies and all different patterns and colors and oh my gosh i love it and that's what this is all about this section is accessories and more starting on page 120 um stampin up is making tabs available to us but they're not orderable right now so i have to wait and some people make them but i'm gonna wait and get the ones they have um because i'm just lazy like that Anyway, here we go. The color families. We have the brights, the neutrals, 
and the regals. And what they have here is eight and a half by 11 inch cardstock. And these are the item numbers for each color. Um, and then this is the classic stamp and pad, you know, which looks like these. Um, and they store the ink upside down, the pad upside down automatically. And the ink refills. And then if there are alcohol markers, they're like this is i think flirty flamingo yes so that is right here so there is a blends combo pack it's number one five four eight eight four for flirty flamingo if they don't have one any longer then there won't be little dashes there um now that said and then over here subtles and then they have the basics basic black very vanilla basic white and they don't have papers and stuff in bronze and ivory, but they do have markers, one bronze, one ivory, and a color lifter, which is they have is gray, but it's it looks like this. It's white. And it does work pretty good, actually, for me. Just the first time you use it, be careful, because I, I had a big blob of stuff come out the first time. And then after that, I haven't had a, a problem. Here's your in-color collections. These are the ones that are only good for another year. These are the ones that are good for two years starting now. Fresh Freesia, Polish Pink, Evening Evergreen. Same thing, cardstock, inks, whatever. Now, if you want, uh, let me skip this page for a minute. If you go back to page 126, there's an assortment and bundles. And you can get um like a pack of 20 sheets of eight and a half by 11 inch cardstock for the whole color family so you get 20 sheets to each of 10 colors for brights neutrals regal subtles or you can get 20 sheets for each in five colors for the two types of in color groups 20 to 22 and 21 to 23 and then you've got the 12 by 12 same kind of thing um the bundled ink pads the main color families, 10 pads, one each of 10 colors. Um, the in colors, it's five pads, one each in five colors. These are the refills. You can't get those bundled for the in colors, but you can for the main color families. And the stamp and write markers, which are these, you can get by color family also, one each of 10 colors or one each of five colors for the in color. So I don't know why they stuck it way you know like they have storage before this but there it is it's on page 126 also you can get the stamp and write markers for the whole um all four of the main color families in one little kit they call it many marvelous markers plus you get a basic black and there's extra space in there i keep mine stored in that standing up and just fold the flaps back and that way i can grab at them when i need to this is something new i am probably missed back earlier but it's called soft pastels assortment they're chalk pastels for coloring i have never used those so i had to get them i know that butterfly wheel is really beyond cute i love that i love that idea i'd love that on my wall <laughs> downstairs because there's no room up here um, and then these are the two sets of watercolor pencils that they have. And they say use with water painters, blender pens, or alone. But I want to try these. They come in um, one each of eight colors. Coastal Cabana, Daffodil Delight, Gorgeous Grape, Granny Apple, uh, Granny Apple Green, Mango Melody, Mossy Meadow, Night of Navy, and Poppy Parade. Now that doesn't sound like pastels really to me. So I'm interested in seeing how this works. <laughs> um yeah where's amalia hi amalia this is the new catalog live today yes it is live today um a couple things are already on back order but only like well as of two hours ago like only three things uh, and, and two of them were embellishments okay now well, let me go back to this page here first this is stampin up storage they have storage for the blender pens. Um, they store five. I have them here, but they're full, so I don't want to bring them down. Um, you have to buy 
the pieces kind of like this comes together. So you get one, two, three, four, or what, five shelves. Yes. One for each. Well, anyway, you can store that many colors. And then this is a topper piece. This can store your ink pads with your stamp and write markers if you want them stored next to your ink pads. Uh, this is just a lid if you don't want a topper piece. I use the topper piece on one of them to store ink fill refills for my in colors, but all my um, my newest in colors and also for like my tuxedo black and stays on. But all my other ones are in cases. Um, this can be used for anything you want. Some people use it for ribbon or whatever. And this I have, and I haven't even opened it yet, but if you sell your cards at shows and stuff, this is a great little thing. It clips together so it opens like an accordion. And then they have these little clippy things where you can, it's called a card display. And it's a nice heavy thing. It has got stabilizing feet. I'm pretty sure I've seen other people using it in their craft rooms. All right. One thing they did is they took the memories and more cards out of the suites, which, yay, I'm happy about that. You don't like discounted? Oh, discontinued, you mean? Yeah. Yeah. Well, only a couple things are back ordered. The bumblebees, one set of the in color gems, which I'll get to in a minute, and one of these, the, um, where is it? Hand pen, number five. Hand pen, memories and more. No, it's this one, card pack, I think, or maybe it's the cards and envelopes. I don't know. I almost got those. These are really, they're really pretty ones this time, but I don't tend to get them used up in time. So I didn't buy any more. I still have um, the Dandy Garden one I need to use that's in the January to June mini. I do like to get these, though. These are the Assorted Memories and More Cards and Envelopes. There's um, 10 small ones, which fit the 3 by 4 Memories and More Cards, or you may know them as Project Life type things. And 10 4 by 6 cards, which is the larger ones they have in these Memories and More packs. And then the envelopes to go with them in their basic white. So I think I have two packs of them. I do use them. I don't necessarily use them for memories and more cards, though. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, nobody likes it. I don't like it either. <laughs> anyway, but you know what? With all the stuff going on in the shipping and the supply chain in the world. I'm surprised we don't have more already on back order or discontinued. Okay, here's the, so there's little red ends everywhere something is new on page 128, which is kind of the, <clears throat> one of their artsy pages, 128 and 29. They have this set of decorative masks, otherwise known as stencils. They have another set. They're they look to be smaller. Now it says they're six by six. I guess, oh, this is the full size. They're showing it you. So there's like a mermaid scale, kind of that batik, boutique flower kind of thing. Um, this is sort of like, I don't know, a gem or whatever. And then this sort of fancy floral. And then we already have trees, a flourish, the dots, and the leaves. So... Hey, I'm all for getting more of those. We also have embossing powders. Now, they did change the way they're bundling the embossing powders now. I'm just going to continue to use what I have. But they have bundled um, the basics, which are black, clear, and white. And then the metallics, which are copper, gold, and silver. So if you want to get the embossing powders, it's $18, but you get a pack of three. You get a half ounce of each, you know, and this stuff lasts forever. And they tell you use it with Versamark and your heat tool, of course. They have a heat tool, which I don't have their heat tool because I had bought a really good Wagner one. It gets really hot, though. You have to be careful. Theirs has two speeds, which is nice. And someday, maybe I'll get that. Palette knives. They have a set of three palette knives in their white plastic. Have those. 
embossing paste. They have a matte finish and a shimmery white. Uh, Wingastella, of course. Can't live without Wingastella. It's just the clear one, which is the one we use the most anyway, mostly. Shimmery Crystal Effects is that stuff that looks like um, clear, but it has glitter in it that makes your trying to find mine um that makes your item look glossy glossy accents is what i was trying to think of um the basic black stamp and write marker you can order that separate from the other markers so you can write with it it has a 0.5 they all the stamp and write markers have a 0.5 millimeter tip and then a brush tip for coloring these are the dye-based ones, so they don't color to me as well as the blends, but there are uses for them, like coloring on your stamps and then stamping, coloring your embossing folders if you want multiple colors, and then embossing, that kind of thing. Okay, and this is all your ink cleaners, your... Oh, we are having now, and they haven't told me it's not orderable. The Stays On Saddle Brown is back along with the refill. The stays on cleaner and the jet black stays on also. So all those shimmer vellums and things we can stamp on them or other vellums or whatever. Window sheets. Um, we still have our tuxedo black ink and Versamark and craft ink. Um, you get the white pad and the white refill. They have uninked little stamping spots, which you'd have to use the refills with. And you get a pack of five sponge daubers. They did away with the, um, which is really weird because they just had them in a paper pumpkin. But you know these sponges that you can cut into six pieces? <laughs> and I really like these for using with the gilding flakes to rub it off your paper once you put it on. But anyway, I'll still use them. The thing is you can, you can pretty much get them anywhere. Blending brushes. Love our blending brushes. They're so soft and pretty. You should have one for each uh, like rainbow color, like yellow, orange, red, or yellow, orange, pink, red, green, blue, purple. You know, I have, um, they come in sets of, let me see, where am I? Blending brushes. They come in sets of three. I think I have two sets because I already had some other kind sets, but I'll probably build up other ones too. Um, blender pens. They're nice. I really like the blender pens. Oops, that's not them. This is. Um, they come in a set of three also. If you don't know what I'm talking about, they look like this. I love these with the watercolor pencils when I use the watercolor pencils, which isn't that often. It just sort of smooths the lines out to me. Um, I don't know what they have in them. Maybe some of that, um, what's that stuff called? It says xylene free. So no acid made in Japan. I don't know. There's that chemical. Oh shoot. I have some of that too, but Stampin' Up! doesn't sell it that you can use to blend with. <laughs> anyway, those are our blender pens. We have water painters in a set of three, fine tip, medium tip, large flat brush tip. And we have spritzers and they come in a pack of two and they're nice. I like their spritzers. I just write with Sharpie on them or you could put tape or something around them on what's in them. Sorry, remember. And that's what I was using to put my shimmer frost white with alcohol but we no longer have the shimmer frost white or the shimmer champagne shimmer paints they went bye bye I'm sad about that okay paper are we ready for paper no it wasn't glycerin it had a specific maybe it was a name brand of glycerin i don't think that's what it was though it was called um i think it began with a t but I, it wasn't turpentine or something I'll put it in the comments as a pinned comment once I find my bottle. I'll let you know. And you, you use a wood dowel sticky thing with a point on it. And anyway, I'll, I'll find it and, and share what it was. Okay, so here's the designer series papers that were mentioned in all the other places. 
Beauty of the Earth. This catalog does not do these papers justice, the ones I've had so far. I have this one. I shared it in my first pre-order haul. It's gorgeous for fall, for summer, for holiday time with the little rows of trees. Gorgeous paper. Must have. Here's the bloom where you are pant planted. <laughs> Bloom where you are planted. This is 12 by 12. This is 12 by 12 also. Um, this is the expressions in ink. Very artsy. Looks like um, alcohol ink. But one side of each paper has gold foiling in it also. It's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful paper. If you like artsy stuff at all or just want some generic prints. It does have some florals in it too, but it's got some generic that you can use for other stuff. This is a really nice paper. Pretty colors. I'm not going to read all the colors. If you can look them up online or if you have your catalog, you can look. Hand penned, I already have. I love this one. Uh, this I think will go nice with that Quiet Meadow set as well. And maybe some other things too. <laughs> Gorgeous colors, more subtle colors. A few bright ones, but more subtle, I think, in that one. This is a carryover blue dot in good taste. I'm glad they did because I have a ton of this paper left. It's really nice. It's got um, bricks and wood grains and denims and um, textiles. They just look like it. They don't actually have texture. But yeah. This is the wild, in the wild, the big cat paper. So far, these are all 12 by 12. And I went ahead and got it. And this is Pansy Petals, which I'll be using tomorrow night. And there's loads of colors in. This one is the one that has all the new in colors in it, plus some other. Plus some other colors. Uh, like Calypso Coral and Bumblebee and Blackberry Bliss. This is the Simply Elegant, which is the elegant paper. Blacks, grays, gold foil, silver foil, copper foil. And this is the one I didn't get, but I, I really like. Um, Sweet Symmetry, 12 by 12. Oh, gosh. Scam likely. Hmm. Here's the holiday one. It's a 6 by 6. It's called Tidings of Christmas. Cherry Cobbler, Evening Evergreen, Misty Moonlight, Sahara Sand, Soft Succulent. I'm waiting on that. <laughs> Here's the peach one. You're a peach. I just love the colors of that. It's just so summery. And now I want to buy some peaches. But they're hard as a rock up here at the moment. Yeah, we're ready for paper. <laughs> and then this one. Um, I did get, and I shared that with you. Uh, these are the packs you get that are by the color families. And this is the one that's the in color for uh, the, the new in color. So polished pink, soft succulent, fresh freesia, pale papaya, and evening evergreen. And there's four sheets each of, in, in the in colors, there's four sheets each of two sets of um double-sided there's only two in here because i just used some of these um but beautiful colors and i like the designs of these and for some reason they feel a little heavier to me than last year's but i could just be imagining that i don't know so i did not get the ones for like that had the misty moonlight just jade and i only got the neutrals so far down here which is what they're showing here so I don't really have much else in neutrals and I do like night of navy and mossy meadow and crumb cake so I wanted to get that one um I haven't decided yet on subtles regals or brights it might just be too much paper so that's really all the designer series paper in here remember though we still have the January to June mini catalog going on which still has designer series paper in it that will not be carrying over into here so like the ice cream the sand this the seashell one um 
the in art floral one and i mentioned another oh, the well suited those four plus if there's any other ones this is like one of my favorite pages too this is a carryover this is the um rainbow glimmer paper i think i still have a sheet of it i didn't mark everything in here basically i marked blue at the top because i have i have the existing stuff um pearlescent specialty paper oh no that's not the right one that's the one that goes with the seashell one that did carry over but not the designer paper the ombre specialty paper that's what this is in um gorgeous grape mango melody night of navy and poppy parade i shared that in my second pre-order hi chris welcome the halcats are not complete without you chris <laughs> And then also, this is the vellum, in color vellum, uh, shimmer vellum, I mean. And you get, it's 12 by 12. You get two sheets each of the five new colors, so 10 sheets total. So that's fun. Here's the rose gold, and it's six by six. Rose gold and gold metallic specialty paper. Uh, let's see how many you get. Four each color. So eight sheets, four gold, four rose gold. I don't know what's different between that and what we used to call glimmer paper. So I'll find out. I did order that. And the Hydrangea Hill Mercury Glass Designer Acetate is carrying over, even though Rococo Rose is one of the colors. So, I, But you can turn it over and use the silver side, I guess. I, I don't know. Rococo Rose has officially retired. <laughs> So, okay. Um, oh, and then I do want to show you this linen paper because when I pulled it out, uh, do I still have that out? I hope, I hope, I hope. Yes. Um, when I showed it on my second pre-order haul, I sort of went, I don't think that's adhesive. You know what? It is. So it's texture. Pretty sure you're going to be able to add color to that. And... It is adhesive backed. So you get two sheets of 12 by 12, basically linen fabric adhesive backed paper. <laughs> um, acid free, lignin free. And that is $6 for two sheets. But I'll probably use it sparingly. But when I want extra texture and maybe add something special to a card and I can stick it right down on something. Or I could see making some um, die cuts out of this too, coloring them, and then they're all, they already have the sticky on. So that is really cool. I was happy about that. Yeah, really nice. It is really cool. So we also have window sheets, Fluid 100 watercolor paper, which I haven't used in a while. I need to do that. Vellum in regular vellum and you get 20 sheets of that shimmery white cardstock continued the basic white three by three envelopes medium envelopes in very vanilla basic white and clear and note cards and envelopes which are different than the memories and more cards they're a little they're bigger they're um five by three and a half you get 20 cards and 20 envelopes okay packaging um Acetate card boxes. I do have those. Uh, I didn't mark everything that I already. Well, I guess I did <laughs> on this one. Did not. I got the ombre gift bags. I showed you them before. The mini jam jars up here. I did not get those. Are two inches tall by two and a half inches top diameter where the lid is. So they're just cute little jars. They might be nice for storage, but they they're part of the PT suite. I didn't get them because I figured I wouldn't be mailing them anywhere. And right now I have too much stuff in this room. Um, then they have three and one eighth by three and one eighth acetate card boxes for your three by threes. Mini coffee cups carried over, but not the carriers. Mini paper pumpkin boxes uh, up here carried over. Simply classic treat boxes. These they almost look like a little ring box with a slide thingy. Um, it says they have a brushed gold foil lid. They're little square boxes, one and 
13 16 inch square and they're food safe i did get these i showed these with my second pre-order the scallop craft treat boxes and those you get eight boxes and they're three and a half square by two and a half deep they're a nice and they have gold foil dots on top of the craft or yeah on top of the craft all around uh three by nine inch printed gusseted cellophane bags i've never bought those but they're nice for like your m ms or whatever other goodies you want to put in and then they have six by eight cellophane bags also and i don't have them either i don't think ribbons and trims <laughs> let me take a drink what was cool sorry <laughs> bumblebee yellow okay is that a troll hmm maybe it is okay um oh you did i just it was still showing to me anyway okay ribbon and trim everything with a blue dot is a carry over from somewhere either the mini catalog uh the green dots are new now this is the one that comes in every new in color um i've showed before which looks like this is the soft succulent really gorgeous um open weave ribbon is what they're calling it so that comes in evening evergreen fresh freesia pale papaya polish pink and soft succulent you get 10 yards per spool uh the fine art ribbon which is like a texture weave and it's gold that's a carryover these two i didn't get i'm not sure i will i'm not sure i love them just jade and gold 3 8 inch braided ribbon i'm sure once i see somebody use them i'll love them but they're not on my top priority. Flirty Flamingo, one quarter inch gold metallic. Um, the Evening Evergreen one, I did just order today. It's a three eighths inch chevron weave. I told you that before. That coordinates with that Christmas tiding sweep, but I'll just use it with uh, other stuff. Smoky Slate is new. I did get that. That's a wide textured ribbon. This one carried over and shocked me. Old Olive Pretty Peacock Reversible because pretty peacock went away the white crinkle seam binding ribbon is a must-have you can color it with any of your stamp and blems to make it any color you want and it ties easily or makes a knot easily it's to me that one is a must-have and you could even press it if you want to get the wrinkles out you know the gold shimmer ribbon carried over the gray granite shimmer ribbon carried over this, I think, was a carryover to this real red uh, double stitch satin ribbon. I think that's from last year's holiday catalog. I don't have that one. Highland Heather Grow Grain. I did get in my pre order. Looks like that. Really pretty. Very soft. It looks stiffer there, but it's a soft ribbon. A little bit wider, but I needed purple. <laughs> Uh, mint macaron soft velvet i don't have i just ordered that today um pale papaya and white is another new one i did get before that's what this looks like that's also very soft it's a woven ribbon pale papaya with that's really pretty that'll be nice in all your tropicals your ice creams and anything with your florals they do have the bumblebee gingham ribbon still and they also have the Just Jade uh, gingham, but it's part of this flowers for every season. And I actually, I have that, but I ordered it again because I'm out of the white and my green Just Jade gingham is low. And there's nothing else here Misty Moonlight colored um, other than I could color that um, seam binding. So I did get that because it's got the um, Baker's Twine with silver and Misty Moonlight and white uh this so uh, the big silver mesh carried over but this one surprises me every time i don't love it but it's nice for vintage stuff um 
It's this scalloped, very vanilla one. I don't love it for cards. I love it for ATCs and stuff like that. Um, it's nice on that kind of stuff. The Simply Elegant trim is new. That's the silver and gold cording kind of stuff. Um, and then they packaged the Baker's Twine into um, five spools. Crumb cake and white have um, crumb cakes like a light brown and white. They come in 10 yards. And then there's five yards each of black, gray granite, and very vanilla. I didn't get that yet because I have... Baker's Twine from the mini catalog, the January, June mini that I want to keep using until it's, it's more gone than it is now. Hi, Cindy. It's okay. <laughs> You've already seen this stuff anyway. Okay, what did I miss? Okay, wonderful. Thank you, Brandy. No braided trim. They do have linen thread, but the braided trim, both the regular... Um, um, what do you call it? Neutral color and the mossy meadow. The mossy meadow is in the January to June until it's gone or by June 30th. Uh, braided trim, braided linen trim. But after that, they're gone. The, the regular linen one is gone um, as of yesterday. So if you want the mossy meadow one, order it now. Mm, maybe um, because last year they had the red also in the holiday and they didn't carry that over, which shocked me because I really like the braided linen trim. Yeah. I don't know that I'll be giving that up actually. <laughs> uh, I have to decide what to do right now. Just Jade has braid. No, just Jade is gingham. Um, I know that rhymes, but it's not true. <laughs> Mossy Meadow has braided linen trim um, in the mini catalog. The one that looks like linen. Now, we do have linen thread still. That's the thinner stuff. That's right here. And you get 15 yards of that. That's the same neutral as the braided linen trim, but the braided linen trim went away. As of yesterday. Now, maybe someday it'll appear on a clearance rack. Who knows? Unless it's gone already. Previous page. Nope. This is oh that no, that's not braided. That's uh well it says braided ribbon, but that's ribbon. That's not um let me see if I have hang on, I'll show you what we're talking about. <laughs> I will show you because I know it's here somewhere. Maybe. I just can't see. Here it is. This is the Mossy Meadow one. And I actually shouldn't have put it in my retiring bin. See, it's a, it's like a thinner. Where this is 3 8 inch, which is more like these. Yeah, these are 3 8 inch, and this is not. <laughs> So this one's a look like a wider ribbon. It does look like it's braided with gold through it. So you're right, it is braided, but it's not braided linen trim, which is this finer, like um, 3 16 inch. And we used to have this in the neutral color and in the holiday catalog, we had it in real red. And I really like this stuff. It comes in handy. And it's a, it's got a more natural look, you know, but. They're doing away with it. Maybe their supplier can't do it anymore. I don't know. I'm not sure. So anyway, yeah, the blue dots again mean I have it. The red dots mean I'm probably not getting it, although I'm not too sure. Maybe the just eight. I don't know. We'll see. Um, yeah, <laughs> that's it. Okay, embellishments. Here's that lattice in uh, it's paper lattice. You get 10 pieces. It's craft paper. That goes with the um, the potted plant set thing. I forget what it's called. Forgive me. I don't have the names down yet. This is the Expressions and in Ink Ephemera Pack. I did not get that. That's the only thing I didn't get in that artsy set. 
It has sequins and then the gold foilings pieces. These I love. I showed you these before. I love these. They're so cute. The loose flowers in pale papaya, fresh freesia, and petal pink in two sizes. I didn't order any more of those. I should have. Um, but <laughs> my order was already too big. Um, and the bumblebee trinkets I love too. But they're already on back order or something or not orderable. And they go with the pansy suite. But you can use them for anything. Right? And then genial gems are new. Love those. Shown them before. Um, these are the square in color gems. Um, you know, we've had the, let's see. There are the old in colors, the ones that are only good for another year. We had these and these are retired now as of yesterday. And instead we're getting these square ones in Bumblebee, Cinnamon Cider, Magenta Madness, Misty Moonlight, and Just Jade. And then the new in colors, we have these other, um, let's see where I have those here. And these are gorgeous. I, I did order one more pack of these, but I think these are the ones that they're saying are already um, might be on back order. Uh, so I don't know if my other pack is coming or not. I got these in pre-order and we were only allowed to get, I think one. Um, and I guess that's why, but they're the new colors, the evening evergreen, soft succulent, pale papaya, fresh freesia and polished pink. And let's see everything. Else, oh, and these are new. Um, I don't know where they are exactly. Maybe they're in here. They're the ones with the, or here's the uh, genial gems. Gorgeous. Here they are. Silver and clear epoxy essentials. There's diamonds, teardrops or water drops and rounds. Okay. And they come with like a silver backing or just clear. And they're really pretty. Two. So let's see over on this side. I think everything except the brads which i did order square and round white and black and these which i didn't order yet shaker shapes in hearts they're made out of pvc hearts stars and circles they're in daffodil delight granny apple green and polished pink they're very pretty but i already have this set i didn't get them yet but i think they're really cute and then we have our pearls different Varieties of pearls. I love these artistry blooms and I'm getting low on them. They're adhesive sequins. These are the opal rounds carrying over from the seashell set. This is the playing with patterns resin dots. Love those too because they have a flatter uh, footprint. They don't stick up off your card a lot. And they're in crushed curry, coastal cabana, and actually purple posy. But you can use them with Highland Heather, Heather Gorgeous Grape. And then our jar, dome, shaker things, and our gilded leafing stuff. Okay, stamparatus, stamping blocks, stamp block carry case, which won't fit all my blocks now. The stamparatus grid paper, but you can use that for other stuff. Uh, only things I don't have are the case here and the stamp and scrub item because I have the um, chamois, which I love. I have two of them. And the stamp and pierce mat is back in the catalog, which is nice because I use that all the time off to my side. And sometimes I bring it out. Flatter embellishments. Well, the playing with patterns are good for that for sure. And the sequins actually are pretty, pretty flat too. I think some of these newer little ones are as well, but I mean, you have to decide. And actually, the Gilded Gems aren't super bulky either. Not the Gilded Gems. The Genial Gems. Ugh. So I didn't mark everything on here that I have because I have most of it except the stamp case and the um, block carry case and the stamp and scrub. Punches and bundles. <laughs> oh, I can turn this into a green because I ordered it. Once it became available, that was really weird. It was like within a matter of hours. They must have just got a shipment in and made it available right away. Okay, Dragonfly Garden Bundle, the Dragonfly Punch is in the... Now, 
that punch is on low inventory. So if you don't have the dragonfly punch or bundle and you want it, I suggest getting it soon. Um, the elegantly said bundle with this elegant tag, I didn't get, I'm not going to get probably, I just have to draw a line. The evergreen border I'll be getting, but not with my big box shipment because I ordered it later and I did get the bundle. That is also on page 91. Oh, the turtle I can turn green now too. Yay! He is so cute. I love that. It's such a cute stamp set and the punch I just couldn't resist. <laughs> My brother used to find turtles on the road and bring them home when he was young and stuff. But he had to be and even in our backyard. Um, also, I really like this symmetrical stems border. I'm still debating that one because I do have the sprig punch which um, I don't know did that retire no it's right here so you can kind of make do which one do you love you want them all <laughs> uh, you don't care much for the square ones I ha I haven't seen them in person yet so I can't say whether I like them or not I if they're not super dimensional they might be okay they look sort of checkerboardy um, the square gems. Ten each of five colors, four millimeter and five millimeter. Yeah, we'll see. You got a hundred pieces. They won't last long. I know that I always use like two colors up faster than the others. That's my only problem with those kind of packs. Flowers of Friendship bundle. I do have that's the one I said Barb stamps demonstrated. The strawberry punch we already talked about will be back in stock on right now. They're saying week of May 31st. They did get a bundle in. They shipped the back orders. They're not going to make it available till they get another shipment in because they don't want to run out again. So the turtle will be on its way in like a week and a half or so. And all these other ones are carryovers. Ice cream cone builders back in stock might be low inventory already. And I'll be using that soon, just so you know, again. And down here's your banners, pick a punch, your lovely labels, pick a punch. And there's a treasured tags, pick a punch. They're all carryovers. The only one I don't have is this one, treasure tags, pick a punch. Rectangular postage stamp, yay. And all of these are carryovers as well on page 150. So I just put one blue dot because I have them all. Love the double oval. Love the hearts. The hearts are probably my favorite. The cat is nice too. The daisies are nice. I like all of these actually. Um, yeah, all of these. Okay, here's your take your pick tool, your tools and cutting tools. We have the cutter with the extended arm, the replacement blades. We've got your take your pick. We have your take your pick um, brushy thing, and that comes separate, and it comes with two of, let me show you the right ones, two of these foamy mats, so you can get all the bits out. I don't, I don't use the foamy mats as much as I should, because I have a different foamy mat. So I just stuck that on one end of one tool that has the pointy thing. So I have all my things to get my dies out. And then this one has my spatula and this. But the take your pick also comes with um, stylus tips. So you can set yours up however you want. They're only $10 for the tool with the other tips. And then you can get putty refills. You get two. But you can get refill packs of two as well. And then we have our bone folder, which I have my old ugly one, which I will continue to use and I'll clean it up again. <laughs> uh, the, the logo does wear off, so don't use that end on your paper. Use the, uh, you know, this end like you're supposed to. Um, our snips which I love, and I use mine only for ribbon. So if you use yours for paper and ribbon, get two and mark one as ribbon or something because, yeah, paper will do dull the blade. I don't have this um, scoreboard, 
I have an old Martha Stewart one, and honestly, I hardly ever use it because the um, unless I'm doing a big project like a like a um, handmade paper handbag or something, or some box. Okay, Brandy, thank you. Um, hi, Heather. That's okay. I missed yours too. I saw you did this morning. I like the strawberry too. It's adorable. Yeah. Um, oh, the turtle. Yeah, Cindy. <laughs> um, I was trying to remember what was adorable. So I don't have their scoring tool. Maybe someday I'll get it. And I don't have the metric blade guide for the trimmer. <laughs> I do like the trimmer if you have lots of if you're a demo and you do lots of classes and you have to cut a ton of paper you'll be replacing blades frequently I replace mine about once a month sometimes every three weeks but it just depends on like if I'm pre-cutting a lot of card bases or whatever um, then I'll have to replace it sooner but that's me now, if I, I don't do a lot of um, classes or card kits, and if I did, I would not be using my, I'd, I'd use my, this one for every day, and I would use the, some other heavy duty guillotine or, you know, one that doesn't require blade replacement for that other stuff, because I don't know. Here's the stamp and emboss machines, the mini and the regular. Um, we do not, the impression mats are in here. They still don't have them. So that would be something you might not be able to order, but all the other stuff in here you should be able to. This is where the adhesive sheets are. I guess they have it here because you would use it with your die cutting. Uh, that's these... Um, you know, put it on the back of your card stock and then you can put your die on it and cut it out. And then all you have to do is peel the backing off and it sticks right away instead of using glue or whatever. And I do like them when I remember to use them. They're great for that. Um, I probably don't replace my cutting plates as often as other people do. Mine look pretty, pretty bad. They're not really worked bad but i keep one for the top but see my bottom one <laughs> it, it probably needs to be replaced and then i'll use the one i was using for the top as my bottom and just replace a new one on the top and that way i'm only using one out of a new pack each time so that works yeah they don't know when the um impression mats will be available all righty embossing folders i know this is long i'm sorry but i just had to do this with you guys so we already talked animal print to me is a must if you don't already have something like that bark 3d to me is a must if you don't already have something like that which i don't brick and mortar carried over have that one Checks and dots I ordered today. That works in the mini. And it almost looks like, um, well, it's checks, like a mini checkerboard. And then mini dots, uh, like our stencil thing almost, that we have our mask. Dandelions 3D carrying over. Dotty Hearts was not available right away. I don't think that one's in yet. I could be wrong. I could it could have come in and I might have forgot to order it but I think they said it wasn't available yet I do want to get that because I don't have any heart embossing folders actually not even non stampin up evergreen forest 3d embossing folder that's a carryover if you don't have that one I highly recommend it the greenery one I use I've been starting to use more often um, this one especially these are for the mini they work, but they work in the big machine too. Hammered metal carried over. Macrame, I haven't decided yet. I have a red dot, but it's a 3D. Um, and it, it, I think that'll be nice with that potted plant one too. But I just don't know if I'll use it that often for me. The magnolia one I don't have. I'm not going to get it at this point um, because the magnolia set retired. But the Magnolia 3D embossing folder is still here. 
Meadow Moments. Um, that's the one that has the little butterflies and flowers and leaves. And I did just use that recently. I can't remember for what. And then it's got another one that's just greenery. Ornate Floral. Love that one. That's a 3D. Painted Texture. Love that one. Parisian Florist 3D. I don't have that one. A lot of people use it. I've seen some beautiful things with it, but I don't have it. I did order Pretty Flowers. It's not 3D. Seashells 3D. Low Inventory. That, that If you have the Seashells paper and the Seashells set, you have to have the embossing folder. That's all I'm going to say about that. Hi, honeybees. You're back. <laughs> We're getting to the end. Tasteful Textile. Must have kind of replaces the subtle that retired just now. And this one isn't anywhere else that I I don't think in the catalog. It might have been mentioned one place. It's a hello and a thank you word mini embossing folder. So I don't have too many. I don't think I have any word embossing folder. So I want to play with that. And then this wintry 3D um, mini has snowflakes here and pine needles here. So I always get the wintry ones because I think they're cool. <laughs> so that is that. There's loads of new, um, anything with a little red N again is new. And the rest are carryovers, but there's quite a few new ones in here this time. And here's some more. So yeah. And then we have the dye bundles. All for baby. I already told you I got that. All squared away. That cuts out the flowers in the squares. And then there's stamps that make designs you can put behind it if you want. Art and Bloom is probably one I'm not going to get, although it has this really cool looking Bloom Hybrid embossing folder. I want to see somebody use that before I change that red to a yellow or green. Artistically Inked, I did get. Batique Boutique. I had trouble saying, so I didn't get that. No, okay. <laughs> oh, really? Wow. I better check mine. I didn't even use it yet. Beautiful trees. Beautiful friendship. Gorgeous, gorgeous. The paper's gorgeous, gorgeous, too. Blossoms in Bloom is a carryover, and it's gorgeous. Brilliant Wings, Butterfly Brilliance, that was that special with the paper, but the paper sold out, but the, the stamp bundle, stamp and die bundle, um, that's the one, it's one big die and one big stamp set, but then you can, you get the individual butterflies out of it, really nice. Scalp Contours does these, um, I really, it's bugging me that I can't find my... I don't think I have it out in a project bin anywhere either. Here it is. I found it. I found it. That's these big scalloped, bigger scalloped dies. Then the Stitch So Sweetly, some of which fit inside there. This is Stitch So Sweetly. This is the scalloped one. Love it. Plus you have this, this scallop and then the flowers that are in there too. Color and Contour Bundle, that's called. And circled in beauty and circled in friendship bundle. Ordered that. Love that lacy look. Forever grapevine bundles, not on my radar. Here's the friends are like seashells bundle. The hand pen bundle I already have. Here's the hat. I don't know. That might end up turning to a yellow or green too for the guys and people that wear those hats. <laughs> I think my um I don't think my son-in-law wears them often, but when they go to a ball game, they sure do. And here's Hydrangea Haven carryover. Anyway, this is a summary of all the bundles that were in the front that have dyes to them. And you can see the green ones are the ones I ordered. So I ordered way too much. Um, some of them were pre-order and some are not. And then the red, I'm probably not going to get. The yellow, I'm on the fence about. And the blue I already have from Carryover. Not trying to brag or anything because I just have way too much stuff now. <laughs> Same. These are the individual ones. Okay. So here you need to look at this section because here's like the basic border dies. No bundle. And they're new. The flower market. One piece. 
um, die. This is page 162 and 63. Um, and you get all these itty bitty flowers out of it. Plus it makes a beautiful background die. Sort of like the, um, the succulent one that has a background. Only that one is more, um, you're left with thinner paper and more air. This has more coverage. I guess I'll say it that way. And it's flowers. The give it a whirl. I might need instructions on how to do it, but I'm going to give it a whirl. <laughs> I'm going to try. <laughs> Hi, Chai. Welcome. I have seen you on YouTube before also. Okay, here's the iconic one that has the birds, the mushrooms, and leaves that I, when I first saw that, I thought that goes with that etched in nature, but it doesn't say that it does. So my guess is they don't fit with it, but they sort of coordinate with it because that had branches, birds, and mushrooms. It also has a bee and some flowers and ferns and stuff. So I did get that with my rewards uh, this morning. It should be on its way. And then the rest of these, except the layering dioramas, no bundle, are um, carried overs. Hippo and Friends, great set. Layering circles, must have. If you don't have layering circles, scalloped and regular. Love you more than chocolate. Goes with that. Um, nothing better than. I'm, I'm not. It tells you all that in the catalog or if you look them up. Here's the new picture of this. Remember I said there were two dies. One cuts out the circles for that peekaboo farm or whatever you want peeking through. And this is the rectangular one. And then you get the rectangles and the circles out. So I did order that. What was the one we were going to look the hat measurement up? Here it is. Where is it? Back here. Back here. Hat. Where's the hat? Because um, I mentioned a page. Okay. Largest die is three and three quarter inches by two and nine sixteenths inch. So I guess it just looks really big there. And on a card, it looks a little bigger. But it's not terribly big, big. Hmm. It says they all fit through the mini. So there you go. <laughs> that was the one we were going to check. Um, these ornate frames here, those were a carryover from like two holiday catalogs ago. Painted labels, they go with the poppy set. Uh, yeah, you can read all that in your catalog. Here's the stitched greenery one. That's a standalone die. And it just etches stitched leaves into your paper for a background. So instead of stamping a background, you etch it in. <laughs> so I'm going to try that too. I don't have anything like that. Here's the potted succulents one I was talking about. Alrighty. And another new one is the tailor made tags. And I showed them earlier. So you get four sizes in each of these two designs plus your reinforcements. And then back here we have our adhesive silicone sheets heat and stick powder for the um, gilded flakes, your wet glue, your long strips to make shaker cards with, my favorite dimensionals in the whole wide world. Um, also, I've grown to love these adhesive sheets, um, not adhesive foam sheets, excuse me, hang on. These ones, foam adhesive sheets. Because you can cut them to any size you need. And I like them for when you have a larger rectangle or square or something on the front of your card. You don't have to use a bazillion dimensionals to have it popped up. You can just use those. Um, so I like that better. Mini glue dots are the best. Love them. They come on a roll. And here's the tear and tape, which I don't use very often. But a lot of people do. It's good for things if you're doing bags, box, and making your own bags and boxes and stuff like that. To me, it holds it really good. And the silicone sheet is a must have. Must have. Okay. Make memories. Join Stampin' Up! Join my team. It's a good time to do it. You get $30 more in your starter kit of merchandise than you normally do. So great time to join. Also, best time to um, either have a party or place a large order. 
because any party order or order over $250 will currently get not only your regular Stampin' Rewards, but $25 extra in Stampin' Rewards. Yay. So I, this morning, was able to get this Pattern Party Designer Series paper. It is 48 sheets of 12 double-sided designs for each. And nice colors and patterns. This is going to be a great variety. And I think one side of it is black and white. And the other side is colorful patterns. Um, so I did get that. I already got the natural textures in my pre-order. Probably not going to get these other two. But you have four options for host rewards. Plus you can use them on other merchandise. Hi, Melanie. Wow. Which stitched one is that? The circles and squares or rectangles. Picture this. It's 34 here, so it's still not cheap, <laughs> but dyes usually aren't. <laughs> I have a lot of paper pumpkin ones too. Plus, I still have. Um, you bought that one too, the picture of this. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. And not just for putting little critters in and stuff, but for other things as well. So, yeah, I, I thought it was very versatile. So I'm going to give it a go. Plus, you get all the bits out of it that you can use on the card fronts and stuff. Um, and the stitchings, from what I saw in the pictures earlier, is on the inside. So it's on these pieces, plus it's on the outside of these uh, cutouts pieces. Alrighty, so what else? So, yeah, have a party with me as your demo. Um, get extra Stampin' Rewards. And I think that goes through June 14th. Actually, let me get the paper. Make sure I'm telling you right. Yes, from today through June 14th. So you get your normal stamp and rewards. They split out the 250 here. It usually goes 150, 300, as you can see on page 170 of your catalog. And it goes from 10, 12, 14, 16% rewards, depending on how much your party is or your order. But at the 250 level is when they add in additional $25 stamp and rewards, whether it's an individual order or a party. So let me know if you're interested in hosting a party and then you just have to have other people order against your party, which is fine with me. I'm going to warn people because people don't seem to realize it, that there usually is a cost to the host also. Um, if the host orders anything for herself or himself, um, you will have that cost. Plus, um, if you end up with a 50% off item, you still have to pay the other 50% plus any shipping and um, tax for your area. So it's not entirely free for you if you host a party. Um, and I'm bringing that up because I've had two situations already <laughs> related to that. So I haven't hosted any party, I had anybody host any parties for a while because of that, because I can't afford to close out parties for hosts um, that can't pay their final thing, okay? You got the free of the bird as your freebie? Well, you do. You can get, you You don't have to use these, Chris, or Chai, as your rewards. You actually can choose anything out of any active catalog uh, as long as you don't exceed whatever 10%, 12%, 14%, plus the $25. Um would be so I wouldn't have had to get these I just wanted to get these two but let's say I had $15 because my party was 150 I get 10% rewards I have $15 I can put towards anything in here I could get two ink pads with it I could get you know free as a bird $18 and just pay $3 plus shipping that kind of thing so you don't have to use the items under the host section as your rewards. They're there, though. They're only available, though, if you do host or have a party that big. You can't get these on a normal order that's under 150. I guess that's the best way to put it. 
Oh, oh, yeah. Well, we did because you know what I did? I got the, um, where is it? I split it up. I actually looked at the value of the Etched in Nature and I got the stamp set for artistic, um, artistically inked as my free stamp set replacement. And then I just bought the dies separate because it was still cheaper for me than getting the bundle and then doing something else. So yeah, they did give us a list to pick from, but there were some new ones on there too. The frog. Nix likes the frog. Ribbit. The prince and the frog. That was called prince and princess. I like the swan personally. But anyway. Okay. So that is the host and urn. And then I already showed you. But I'll show you again. I used to mark up this index. Because this is um, an alphabetical listing of all the stamp sets in the catalog. And when I first get the catalog, I go through it and I go through it this way because my stamp sets I put on a shelf alphabetically by catalog. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, well. Next time, if that ever happens again, hopefully not, actually. But, um, yeah. Um, so I highlight... I go through and I mark which ones are carryover from the annual, the January to June or holiday catalog or whatever. Then I highlight the ones that I have and the ones that I don't have that are carryover. I put a dash through or that I don't want to get um, or that I don't think I'm going to be able to get, that kind of thing. And then the pink ones, I, I, it might change the colors, but I use two different colors, one for carryover that I have and one for new that I either have or, or ordered. But that way, um, I kind of know where they came from, how long they've been around, that kind of stuff. And I've taken to making a copy of these couple pages because you can see how messy this is. I have codes for everything. And for new, HC carryover from the 2020 holiday catalog, AC carryover from last year's annual, JJ carryover from January to June, yellow is have, Pink dashes don't have, don't want. <laughs> and I write dates that I order stuff for the pink ones too. So there's a lot colored in, but there's also um, quite a few that I, I don't have that I won't be getting because I don't, A, I don't have room for all of it. And then in the very back, we have an accessories index. So if you don't know where to find the ribbon or the sequins or paper you can just come to that index and let's see if there's anything else at the end oh the legal stuff about ordering and proprietary rights remember the angel policy we already talked about there's a stamp set for that if you sell your pro your cards and then stampin up is all about making a difference around the world they get involved in community a lot of people are more involved in community than i am i'm kind of a hermit I need to do better at that. And they do have a day of service. They do givebacks and they have events and things like that. So great company. Um, oops, and that's my address in case anybody knows where I want to know where I am. <laughs> I may have to blur that out. <laughs> anyway, um, that's all I have, everybody. I know that was really long and my dinner's in the crock pot. And I'm probably going to go eat. I appreciate you joining me. Thank you for the thumbs ups as well. Brandy likes the frog too. I like the turtle better myself. Where's the turtle again? He's a punch. He's a punchy little turtle. <laughs> He's so cute. Oh, and this little saying, it's time to celebrate. I just love that. <laughs> I just love that. I think that's so that's one of my cute. I got two, I think two cutesy ones and the rest are not, but yeah. The turtle is your favorite. Oh, <laughs> awesome. Flip through. Thank you. Long one, but yeah. So if you missed any of it, you can go back and watch and fast forward and all that. Also, this is the May host code. Good from the second through the end of the month. 
9SPZ9M7U. It will be in the description area of the video once it goes up for this and any future videos in the month of May. Uh, and there will be one tomorrow morning at, um, I think, 10 o'clock, which will be our case of card collab. Um, so stay tuned for that. And then tomorrow night, 7 p.m., I'll be back with the Pansy Suite. So let's see what I can come up with. It is now. Um, it wasn't early this morning. Well, maybe it's not again. But it became available like mid-morning. Uh, they had to refresh their system to make it show up as available. I got on the phone with them because I said, well, you just put out a message to us demonstrators that it's available again. Now, the lady did tell me it was going fast. So, yeah, go check again because I actually had to place another order for that. And also the evergreen um, one became available. And there was something else, another one that was not available right away. But the Turtle Punch, the Evergreen Elegance uh, bundle with the punch. And I think it was the one, the, um, the one with the sprig looking thing. The new one though. Hang on. Punches, punches, where'd you go? Here. This one, Symmetrical, the In Symmetry. I think that was also in the same boat. Um, so they weren't available at like three in the morning, but they were at 10 a.m. I don't know if they still are. <laughs> yeah. So I went and ordered it, but it didn't get added to my express shipment order. I had to put it in a separate order. So I'll get that in a couple weeks probably. Anyway. All right. Thank you everyone for joining me. I'm going to go eat dinner and I hope you enjoy your evening. And I hope to see you all tomorrow evening at 7 Eastern. So, yeah. Have a great evening. Talk to you soon. Bye. <laughs> Paige. Yeah. See, things sneak up on you. Can't believe you missed that hot one. <laughs> bye everybody have a great night and a great rest of your week if i don't see you tomorrow